This is the Violent Professional Podcast. Hey, did you guys ever take a trip to the, the local zoo and see the gi- giraffe exhibit? Yes. <laughs> That's good for a friend. <laughs> I was going to say something about his 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 big giant cock being spotted as well. <laughs> I messed up. Wait, are giraffe cocks <laughs> spotted like that? They are. How do you fucking know that? Because have you ever? My friend told me. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's David, Mark, and me on the Violent Professional Podcast. We're all banged up and ready to go. What we got, David? What are we talking about? We we're talking. We started talking about something. And we then. started talking about some plumbing, and I told him to shut the fuck up till we were recording. So I found out that David takes fucking condoms and throws them in his <laughs> toilet bowl, and then he shits inside of those condoms. So God knows what's in his plumbing. Just tell us, up. tell us, tell the people about your fucking shitty situation shitty situation and the outcome and we'll comment we'll provide commentary so my um pipes got backed up water into my bathtub so i called the plumber plumber ran a snake through the fucking plumbing <laughs> so where do you insert the snake through the toilet we removed the toilet we put it down the main line yeah and so every single house has an air vent at the roof, and this guy puts the fucking snake down the air, down the pipes. The snake goes the wrong way and goes up into the air pipes. He's, How does that happen? I, a, a shitty fucking plumber. <laughs> so does it have a camera on it? Right? Yeah, it has a camera. Was on he it. watching the camera? He was not watching the camera. Ah, fucking yeah. amateur. So then I have cameras set up outside and the so this fucking snake snags one of the camera cords i don't understand how it escaped the fucking turd toilet there's one fucking tube that goes up right correct it's like the diameter of this fucking bang right here exactly it's about that diameter right and this and the okay so it's on the top of the house on every house has it like it it used to be a chimney yeah it looks like a tiny chimney here's my question Does does the piping go from the toilet through the roof in one singular piece no no, it goes. It, it deviates. You like acted it, like that was a ridiculous question. We don't even understand. understand because your shit would fly out the roof. Dude. Listen here, I'm not no plumber. Even <laughs> though I look, even though imagine I look though, like one. Imagine though, if your plumbing went and you're like it your shit was so back, so backed up, all of a sudden it started taking droppings out of the top of your house. <laughs> shit, and you're like, you walk outside, you're like, oh, this is a nice day, and then it turns, <laughs> shit rolls down the roof. <laughs> How many times have you walked Why out of your I... house and gone? <laughs> This is a nice day. Just, what? <laughs> this is a nice day. Oh, he just goes oh the poosicles are really goes popping. Goes out to clean this his dude. gutters and it's just filled with shit. <laughs> He's scooping out. What is this muck? So, Toilet paper? Just <laughs> So the snake, and it's 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 a hundred foot snake. This thing's fucking rolled up in my bathroom. It's, it's on a coil. snake in the world. And he's sitting there fucking just going like this in my bathroom, just going, oh, bro, working this fucking thing. And I'm like, I'm, in my, in my did, mind, I'm did like, you see him work the snake? Yes, I saw him fucking work the snake. From behind or from front? You sure? I was, was just snake, like, oh, I was God. Like, I was oh, like, yeah. Bro, you should not be working a snake that hard. Like, something is wrong. I go outside in the back, and I'm like, Dude. Did he tell you to shut the fuck up and let me do my job? <laughs> no, he didn't. He <laughs> I go, I, I'm in the backyard. I yell, dude, fucking stop. It was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Snakes on my roof, just like covered in fucking cord. And it's my camera system. And okay. he fucked up my camera Here, okay, system. Okay, here's my question. Yeah. How the fuck did it find your camera? Was you, did you have cords just laying on your roof? No, 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 no. The cords were attached to the, like, um, you know, like underneath the fascia or whatever. Right? And they, they're... They, you know, they got little like fucking clamps on them. They're the, attached. The fascia to the, of the, the fascia, roof, right? Right, 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 so right, right, right. What do you think the fascia is? Because I'm, I'm a little lost. <laughs> right, well, it's fucking attached to the house, okay? And it's got fucking, okay? It fucking it connects the it skin just... to the muscle. <laughs> dude, I'm not a fucking engineer, dude. I'm not a house scientist. <laughs> house scientist. I am a scientist. So anyway, yeah. Anyway, if my camera system's fucking gone, it's toast. So it doesn't work right now. No, it's it's yeah. It's completely fucking. So he should pay for that. You're goddamn he? right. You know what? He, uh, we called it fucking spits even, dude. We just fucking. Oh, so he, he was like, ah, you don't have to pay. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was like, fuck it. Yeah. He's like, listen, man, I no. fucked up. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was like, man, I fucked up, dude. I'm really sorry, man. Do you, I mean, so he cleared out the fucking blockage and we I fucking. Think, I think know. the fact that you're it, like, he's snake in the drain mm -hmm. and he's now the snake is up on the roof would be the first indicator that he fucked up. It's out there just fucking what? flipping around. How did this happen? Yeah, yeah, it's fucking flopping around. So he there. fixed your problem? Oh, he fixed the fucking drains for sure. Yeah. Okay. So nice. Yeah. yeah we, I got, so yeah. we, I went over to his house this morning, and we, yeah. we went down to Home Depot. We picked up a new seal, right? Not the wax kind. Right. The non-wax kind. Yeah, yeah. So it's not so fucking messy. Mm -hmm. And then we tried to put his toilet back on, and his <laughs> his fucking toilet's so old. I mean, not the toilet. The house is so fucking old. That the ring they have where it, you know, insets and you put the, the mm -hmm. seal on top and then the toilet on top, that ring was so fucking corroded and old that the new screws that came with the new seal just fucking pop right out when you try to tighten them down. Oh, yeah. So eventually he's going to have to replace that. But we got it clamped down pretty good. I had to jerry-rig some shit and it flushes and doesn't leak, so it's good for now. <laughs> Sweet. So I guess I am a plumber. You kind of are. You're a better plumber than the last <laughs> I had to guy. Show, I had to show him how to do all that shit. You well, learned today. I learned today, yeah. So, uh, I need a new camera system. I need new cables. I need 100-foot cables. I need four of them. Uh, what else? You need 400-foot four, you... four cables? Your house is fucking small. No, the, the, each cable was 400 feet, and they all ended up getting cut because they had to like just cut the, free the snake. Oh, shit. They, yeah. like, really fucked it up. Oh, dude. They were pulling the fucking cables from my actual... De the, the recording device was getting Holy tugged on shit, in my living room because it's all routed through my attic, and... He was fucking just, he was giving it hell. He he thought he hit a fucking he root. Jerky. He was like, oh, damn, he this was, motherfucker. He was and he's like fucking snake. my camera up the whole time. Oh, why don't you go get some of those wireless Wi-Fi ones that you can watch on your phone? Listen, from listen. I, you, well, see, you see the cameras at my door? Yeah. Outside yeah. and in the house? I can pull those up on my phone. They're battery powered, dude. That's what you fucking you, need. The, the, the cameras are battery powered? Goddamn right. Yeah. Like, how do you charge them? You put With new batteries in them and they turn on. You gotta put like double A's and shit in there? Or? No. It's a rechargeable fucking lithium battery. Rechargeable. You know like in, what's in your phone? But it lasts for like months. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, you're doing that every 24 hours what's or your, some shit? What's your <laughs> hesitance in getting one of those? Huh? What's your well, hesitance I, in I think one? I think it's not hesitance. I think it's laziness because it, the camera system he has came with the house. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, I wouldn't okay. have fucking got a camera system if fucking see, fuck no. Okay. See? Dude, I got a fucking <laughs> shotgun and shit, dude. Oh, because like, that shotgun can see what's going on around <laughs> it. It doesn't matter. Let him come in. I'll fucking... <laughs> when you're not home, shotgun attack. <laughs> well, if I'm not home... You need to put I mean... that shit on your Roomba. <laughs> well, listen, here's the deal. Someone fucking breaks into your house, they're going to get in. And you're either there yeah. or you're not there. Yeah. Your camera just told you, oh, they came in. But a camera <laughs> system is also a deterrent. I'll just leave the fucking cameras on the fucking thing, dude, and you get scared. There I got a go. night yeah. owl like fucking thing on the window. Yeah, what? so what's a night owl? It's, it's the brand. It's it's the like a two hundred dollar camera system. Yeah. Okay. But I can two, look at it on my phone too. I just it's just wired is all it is to the actual DVR or whatever. Yeah, it is. Dude, mine's mine's legit. Like I can move yeah. the cam. I can take the camera off of the fucking yeah thing and like carry it around if I wanted. How many to. Do but you I have them set so high that you can't access them. You so. have like four or six or how many? Where exactly are these cameras? Tell them. Tell the fucking world. People from the and podcast, when are you they're not at home? Like, like, Where's Mark? All of them, they're all in the bathrooms. <laughs> so you got six of them, or uh, one, two, three, four. I have four, four five. Uh, Where'd you get them? I got you, five cameras. Costco, or it's a company called Simply Safe. Yeah, we've heard of them. No, you haven't. They're not a sponsor. They're not a sponsor, but they're a sponsor they of another I mean, they're fucking, major they're podcast. Legit, dude. Yeah, you just you just screw the mounts into wherever you want to put them, yeah. and then the cameras are magnetic, so you just. Mm -hmm. Pop them on. It's all just, and then when you go to, to change the batteries, you take it off, open the compartment, change the battery, mm -hmm. and you know they're, they're you. I got the outdoor cameras for inside as well, right? So they have night vision on them, all that shit, dude. It's, really? it's fucking so cool. motion detected, so it records. How much are they? Because I think I, my I think I think for my whole set, <laughs> I think for my whole set, I paid like five hundred bucks total. It's not too bad. No, and it, and. You can just store all the stuff those on your piece of shit night owl ones I got. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it's cool. Yeah, right. you got that old school shit. I mean, it's from yeah, I don't know. The previous the seller put them on there because he didn't think anyone would buy the house. So <laughs> is that because it's like, a very high crime neighborhood? Is, oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a high crime neighborhood. No, it's just dumpy, right? There's like sections of it that are really dumpy, and then you drive down the street and there's these fucking mansions. And you're like, holy shit! I mean, it's 
it's not dumpy. Oh, there's I have a sketchy dumpy. fucking neighbor. And that's about it. Dumpy <laughs> I mean, he, neighbor. He served Let's time. Talk about He's your ne- neighbor. How do you know he served time? Um. Okay. So when I was buying the house, me and the realtor went knocking on doors, and we talked. We were literally only one reason asking about the guy next door. Oh, so you went to the other neighbor? We went to the like, ones across the street. We're hey, like, uh, hey, so what's the story with this know, fucking shit shack? You know next about to me? this fucking guy? They got, Is it, there a shit shack next to your house? It's his front yard's so okay. Dumpy. The backyard's a fucking Beirut. It's so, fucking horrible. <laughs> so his neighbor, <laughs> ba- his backyard is Beirut. Oh, it's like so, there's been like you know mortars gone off and fucking. It's it's horrible. It looks like a goddamn junkyard. Yeah. What? You know what he does, he though? He doesn't have a fence, right? No, fuck no. no Fences fence, slow yeah. him down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> He sounds like my cousin. No, but um, oh, you know what I've learned about this guy? He doesn't work. How did you learn that? <laughs> He's He cleaned his what entire he... fucking backyard up right one day. Like I was like, okay, Robert, fucking keep it like this. His name's Robert. His name's Robert. Okay. We're you talked to him and you said guy. keep it like this? I, in my mind, I'm like, I'm, I don't <laughs> talk to the guy, dude. No. <laughs> okay, I got stories about this guy. Here we okay, go. Okay, start right. start yeah. with how the fuck you found out his name. Oh, he introduced himself to me oh, when okay. I first moved. I was like, all right, cool, dude. <laughs> he came over? Uh, we through, just through his back window. <laughs> it's, it's fucking... I'm Robert. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's taking so, shit in his, his chimney fuck, pipe. I oh, he's in his, he's in his attic pissed. through like the slats that are, you know, the... You that window you can't see through? I got a fist. Go... What? I got a piss. Room silence. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, dude. What's happening? Pause that shit. Uh, okay, we'll pause dude, I'm it. I'm giving you gold, dude. Hold on. Solid. I don't. <laughs> you're giving us gold, including <laughs> golden gold showers. Gold bars. Gold bars and golden showers. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are we taking this episode after David does what he does? Oh, I'm Piss, He pisses all over right this now. fucking episode. He's going to piss on my toilet seat, probably. That fucking dirty bitch. He's like, oh, it's so funny. Like, <laughs> just, what I'm going to uh, say. What I'm going to say is so funny. He's taking these breaks to just think about what he's going to say next. <laughs> just pissing everywhere. He's, he's just, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm so fucking nervous. Oh, God. Oh, God. How many people are listening to this? I have to no pee. No one's listening It's making to this. me have to pee. Yeah. <laughs> I have irritable Will- wiener syndrome. Ah. For those of you wondering, this isn't my real hair. Hi, guy. Hey. Okay, you done fucking up the podcast? This is serious. Oh, is it? Yeah. Serious. This is episode 99, right before 100. Oh, okay. This is <laughs> so, like a commemorative like, if I, I was, episode. You know, I try I try to make every think, episode you know, better. Like, we're progressing along the line. And then <laughs> here, here you come, you're like, in the middle of the story, and we're on, like, I'm literally on the edge of my I seat. have to go pee. Like, right here, you're like, I know. I gotta piss. You know, like, what? You know, is that the story? You know story? where you're watching, well, I gotta piss. Movie, you're no. watching a movie in the theater, and there's like no. about to be this huge battle, and then you're like, hold on, I gotta take a piss. No, you know what it's like? <laughs> it's like when you're jerking off to a porn and then all of a sudden they they show like a really close up shot of the dude's face and he's like, <laughs> ah! and you're about to finish and you're like, I might be gay now. I've got to finish. And then you, you blow, keep, blow and then I can't stop. <laughs> yeah. Just keep going. Do you ever see those shots where it's like, oh yeah. And like <laughs> It's just like his face. What? Who in porn thought that was a great de- idea? I you mean, know, there's a lot of people out there whoever, that finish explicitly was, during those. Whoever sections. was producing, it's just like I'm gonna get this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Take this scene, bitch. <laughs> what a weird scene. No one gives a fuck about that. Anyway, <laughs> continuing on. You pissed all hey, over can this I episode. That saw later. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Never mind. What the fuck is wrong just, with That's you? a perfect saw, dude. It just got Those, it this cost $5 dollars fucking, at it, fucking Lowe's, it's, dude. It's, it's, it's Except like, when they're painted, they're like yeah, 500 it's ma- majestic. <laughs> that is painted. a collector's item. Jesus Christ. No, you know what I thought, though? Like, I'm like, who the fuck paints a saw? Like, that's kind of fucking weird. It's, it's cool, fucking man. genius. It, how is it genius? Somebody bought it. I didn't buy it, but I, somebody I, bought right. it. But, like, I mean, just like painting tools, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. This, this saw built this home. Have you ever seen saw blades, like the circular saw blades that are painted? I, it's I, a fucking thing, dude. Is it? Yeah, people make money off that shit. Especially if they can paint. <laughs> I was like, I got nothing else to paint here, but genius. I'm going to paint my saw. <laughs> you, listen. <laughs> can I borrow that you picture? Know why that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I need can a I hammer later. I need, to... <laughs> I need to smash something with it. Well, why is it there? <laughs> why is that there? Why You're What's not using it. You've got Mark, it you have wall. a whole fucking room of just intrigue. Like, That's... we could break down a bit. Like, you could spend... The human origins of putting a fucking <laughs> a yak... Horn on the hood of a Cadillac. If like, I had why? some yak horns, I'd put them in here. But that, those are steer horns, you son of a bitch. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. You need to put that on your tr- your truck. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. dude. That'd be dope. 
Dude, I dare you. Except to... I don't want to unmount it from my wall. Maybe so, I'll just get another pair. When you go down to Portland, put it on the fucking new Hyundai you got down there. Just, that'd be funny as shit. Just drive. That'd be fucking gay. <laughs> just put it on the rental. Just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, what were we talking about? You were talking yeah. about piss. Piss? Yeah. Yes. And Robert. Robert. Ah, Robert the neighbor. So, neighbor Robert. <clears throat> um. So, oh man, I don't even know where to begin with this guy. So, so for my over... first summer. There you go. We'll first start summer. at the beginning. First summer. We'll start at the beginning. Introduced himself. A long right, time cool ago <laughs> in Central. The neighbors told me that he has had a drug problem in the past. Oh, shit. And he went away for a while and he came back and he's good now. Oh. <laughs> Great. Um, I knew good something you, was really fucking up with this He's guy. He's listening to this podcast. Right yeah. now. Robert's my only listener. <laughs> <laughs> um, and <clears throat> they had a Honda CRV from like 98. Right. And I knew something was up with this thing when this thing was coming back to the house at two in the morning, every single other night in the summertime. Oh, you mean like if he had a fucking job or something? <laughs> well, <laughs> here, so what they would do is it would just miscellaneous make runs throughout like the week. It would be gone for four or five days at a time, come back at two thirty in the morning. And I know this because of the night owl. Um, ah. yeah. And I was, I was what they would to say, I was like, it looks like you don't have a job because you're <laughs> just, commenting on a Honda CRV and he's monitoring that leaves it. at various times. I'm just looking at my he's cameras because it's fucking window. weird. Yeah. Anyway, uh, in the morning when I'm leaving for office, right? Like they're running a fucking shop back through the door panels, cleaning out the fucking vehicle. <laughs> Drug runner. Every, every week, <laughs> every week, just running a fucking thing out of the CRV. And I'm like, and then on top of that, like in the summertime, you're seeing miscellaneous people coming and going every couple of days through the house. It's a high school kids going through there. Oh, geez. Yeah, it was it was fucking. <laughs> and they haven't done that shit in about two years. So, but um, he finally got his backyard cleaned up. Right, this guy. I'm like in my mind, I'm like fucking keep it like this, okay? Please. Two days later, shit just start a kayak. A fucking engine block. <laughs> like this motherfucker goes out throughout the area and what they'll do is they'll literally go dumpster diving, collect shit, part it out. They're fucking like gypsies, dude, or whatever. Is he, is he parting out bicycles too? Oh, I, everything. Dude, <laughs> I put out my old – I had this little fucking Chinese uh, lawnmower, right? This little tiny oh, Chinese. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know it was Chinese? Because I bought it and it was from China. It was called a Sunjo. Well, that's – it was this little tiny fucking. It's this weird lawnmower. Sunjo's an American company. Is it really? Yeah, but continue. It may have been made in China. I swear this thing is not domestically made. We ship Sunjo. They have a warehouse locally. Really? Yeah. Continue. Okay. This guy's a <laughs> Sunjo expert. Over here. Yeah. Um, I've never heard of this company. Yeah. The, it's, actually, the company that yeah. ships it is called Snowjo. <laughs> but they it ship Sunjo. S U N J O. Yeah. Like continue. Super continue with your. And they ship lawnmower. it under Snowjo. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking weird, but we don't want to talk about anything else. Continue. Okay. So I put, I'm put i getting rid of this fucking thing because I get a new lawnmower, right? Anyway, I put it out by the garbage can. want the garbage guys to come throw it away, right? It's done, right? A week later, I see him fucking literally like walking from his backyard to his front yard with this thing in the back of it. He just put it over his shoulder. Well, listen, listen, all right? Yeah. If, you're, if your lawnmower stopped working... It may have been that you had old gas in it, and the dude's just cleaning out the carburetor to sell it for 50 bucks. It's just a shitty little electric song. Like, oh, it was electric? Yeah, it was an electric piece oh, of shit. Well, yeah. fuck it. Never mind. Right. He probably didn't but even know it was electric. That's, He's that's, probably like, that's where's how the goddamn fucking carburetor? Lives, though. He <laughs> lives like that. He goes, and he goes dumpster diving, and he collects shit, and he just What's keeps it in his backyard. What's wrong with that? <laughs> There's a lot what of people this, that do that. What honestly. is happening? Because it hurts fucking his property value and my property value, and everyone who gives a fuck about their house is property value. Well, that's the problem. Um, yeah. That you have a fucking property value that's affected by somebody that lives next door. Should not be that way. So it you're just ar you're arguing with the free market, you're, then, yes. is what you're doing. Right? Yes. I agree you're, with you. We have to pause for a second. I'm a little perplexed on what I the fuck you're going to say you have to piss. No, I'm not going like, to like, you guys piss. suck at this. His, his, he's got his computer screen sitting on his lap, and it just comes up with some random definition. So now I know where he gets his weird words from. <laughs> this motherfucker just has this weird word called clear hue come up on his viscid. <laughs> Commingle? What the fuck is going on right now? Did they just pop up with the definitions? The word commingle? What what's going on right now? We just that's figured just it out, dude. Saver. So he a screensaver that so tells the definition. So literally, waiver, that's literally what happens. Saver. Every the, single day he's like he finds the word I'm gonna of the use day. The word festal. <laughs> and we're like, what are you well, talking look, it's an about? Adjective of like or relating to a celebration a or festival. A festal is a celebration. Dude, a festal. You son <laughs> of a bitch. 
I fucking tell caught people. Him. Tell the people. This this motherfucker. This <laughs> You're motherfucker, telling him too because he doesn't know what we're talking. This guy about. right here, David, likes to use large unnecessary words during common conversation. I've never used the word festival before. Well, you're going you're gonna you're gonna to fucking use it, now. use it now. I bet we'll hear it this week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mark, when are you hey going guys. to at your house? <laughs> it is like that, though. You son of a bitch. I, I caught him. You're like, I caught him what fucking is that? red-handed. You think I fucking... My... Waif? What's a waif? A waif? A yeah. visage? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what any of this shit is, but... That's visage, by the way. Visage is... Well, what's visage? There's... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Mal- All right, continue on with uh, Maladroit. That sounds like okay, a... Okay, don't worry about the fucking words. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is right there. It's an, bung- it's an adjective. Bung- ineffective bungling. or bungling. Clumsy. Maladroit. I, okay. <laughs> Robert. Back to Robert. So, yeah, Robert's... Uh... My question is, why is that a problem for you? What do you mean? Robert, his him stealing your lawnmower that didn't work. Cause yeah, it, I, well, I don't care. I don't care about it the It ends up in your, ba- your in backyard, backyard right? and it huh? affects your property value. Because he doesn't have a fence. I wish the guy would fucking clean his backyard. That's all I care about. So if and he... not sell drugs out of his house. That's true, yeah. <laughs> He's like, he skipped that part. That'll definitely bring down your property value. Yeah, I mean... I don't, I don't like that. What do you mean? That, I, I don't like... What I said before is I don't like how someone else's shit house can affect property value. Yeah, it's fucking Desirability. I, yeah. I've had that happen at my I understand house. why it exists, because you're not going to want to move next door to that. Or purchase, right. I don't like it. I'm yeah, just, that's all I'm saying is I, I don't agree. like it. <coughs> it's you know real. It you know what? You know what it really is? It's women, and I'll tell you why. <coughs> okay. How did this happen? <laughs> when I was single, and I am, I bought my house. I spent three and a half seconds. I was like, <coughs> "Fucking put in an offer. We're done." If I had <laughs> yes. a fucking you woman, that, with they're like, were, "Stop slapping my hood, sir." We- <laughs> <laughs> Show you this puppy. <laughs> if I had a wife with me. She would have been. Ah, 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 ah. That's where the fucking problem listen, is. It, listen, there were well, guys would live in a box. I'm pretty sure. There were like you would live in Robert's house. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'd kick him I'm out. i this place. Up. You were desperate at the time to get it into a place too, though. I mean, I was on a short. Con- I wasn't desperate, but I was on a short time frame, right? But you went down yeah. to goddamn Lewis County, and you were like, "Fuck it, I'll take it." Dude, I was about to go to Napa <laughs> Vine, I mean, which is another saying? ten minutes south. But <clears throat> yeah, but but what I'm saying is, if if I had a wife with me. That, that I wouldn't even gotten that house, like absolutely not. right. And the prop they would have to drop the rate, drop the price, and that is exactly what you're talking about because fucking desirability. And it's the woman that fucking slows shit down. Yeah, yeah. I picked my house because I was literally getting outbid every. It's like you, the <laughs> shit you were going through back in yeah. 2009. Yeah, that's when I bought my house, and I was like every fucking place. I was up in well, all the neighborhoods around, just looking all over the place. Uh, didn't want to go up north, but I was like down here looking all around every single fucking house outbidding. It was like, uh, like black, <coughs> black stone or rack, black cock was like <laughs> buying up all the houses and stuff. So like how that. many houses did you look at before you landed on that one? I was searching for three months, so I don't know oh, how many. Months. So yeah. a ton of them, huh? Yeah. 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 No, it was maybe more than that. I don't know. It was a while. I know a little bit about what you're going through with the, the neighbor taking the shit. Mm-hmm. Taking a shit. Taking it. Taking well, your we stuff. Can, we can talk about that too. Because <laughs> uh, my old neighbor used to do that, right? I would put stuff out in the front for free. Yeah. Like after a yard sale, miraculously, it would end up all in. How did my fucking lawn, like the, my backyard right. table, end up right. in my neighbor's front yard? So like, like, give me some free shit. <laughs> Sorry, I took a drink of this bang and it went down the wrong fucking pipe. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you just want to like tell them, <laughs> hey, like let me show you how to live a better life and like not fucking live the way you do. So you want to put Robert <laughs> through rehab yourself, is what you're saying. I want him to clean his backyard. You want to not be his sell sponsor? Drugs. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but his his mentor. Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, it's yeah. Anyway, my pipes are gasol, dude. Anyway, so like, okay, this fucking. Let's go. Sorry, let's skip the plumbing thing, right? The plumber is twenty eight years old, right? How and do you so, know his age? Because we were just fucking talk. <laughs> we were just talking, shooting the what's, shit. What's his name? I don't fucking remember, but. <laughs> The guy goes. You're like you're looking real supple right now. How? <laughs> Start rubbing my nipples. How old are you? <laughs> hey man, you're sweating. How <laughs> I many? Know, I know you thought you were gonna come here to clean my pipes. Yes. Yeah. How many years young oh, are be you? Cleaning your pipes, all right. <laughs> um. So you guys, you you want to be friends on Facebook? He's like, dude, I'm just here to look at your shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're a strapping young lad. He uh. So he's running the camera. He, after he fucks the camera up, he gets it down in the right hole, right? Not up there, but in there. <laughs> sure he did. Right. We, he's plug, plug, get rid of the grease fucking thing. That's causing me the problems. 
he goes about 56 feet down towards the easement, towards the mainline sewer, and then he starts seeing little fucking hairs poking through, and those hairs are the pre roots that are coming into the. Okay, got okay. Yeah. It's not actual hair. Not actual hair. They okay. look like hairs, though. They're very it's fine Robert's like hair. hairs. <laughs> where, are, where are all these pubes stuck in your? T- <laughs> okay. <laughs> your <butt? Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that you're like, sir, you have a you have a problem. It's like I do have a fucking problem. Twenty eight year old man who's on name. He's like, <laughs> I have tons of problems. And then he's like, no, a real problem. Your cl- your toilet is clogged because you have an excessive amount of pubic hair in there. <laughs> They're shoved inside yeah. this condom with all the shit, too. Yeah. Oh. So he's like, oh, you got roots. Man, I'm sorry, man. You got roots, man. You're going to need new pipes. And I'm like, uh, at this point, because I'm like, oh, fuck. This like, was I'm, today? Or this what? was uh, uh, Friday. 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 Yeah, Friday. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then he goes, puts the snake a little further. And then now we got like a, there's actually a root that's in the pipe now. So, and that's like a big thick one. It's about probably two fingers. God damn. Yeah. Hold on. Don't freak out. This shit's fucking common. Oh, I can stay calm. I know, but I know that's why I brought it up when we were talking about it originally. I said that was like one of the first things I said. It was like, it it may be roots and then you're kind of fucked. Yeah. I didn't know that there's a cleaner. There is a solution. That doesn't cost 10000 So I'm freaking out, kind of. I'm like, man, dude, bro, like, be honest with me, man. Like, man, dude, bro. What is a fuck? What does something like this cost? New pipes, dude. It was like, all right, well, we got to mark your backyard. We got to figure out where your pipes begin and end, what the deal is. So half my yard is PVC, all replaced. New shit. Good, solid gold there. We get to the clay piping from 1920. Damn. That's, yeah. The shit is underneath my fucking parking garage. And it's all under concrete. And he's like, man, they're going to have to ex- excavate, demo, demo the fucking concrete. Yeah, all we can do shit. that shit, though. I know, but we ain't going to do it, though. That's the thing. Uh, we don't have to now, yeah. Okay. Because why? And all you motherfuckers out there, listen up, okay? Don't let a fucking plumber come <laughs> this, into your house. This is funny. They're like, they go go it's from like up- the podcast where I do it by myself, and I'm like, hey, guys, wow! And I'm like, oh, fucking amped up. <laughs> they're like, about now, now we're giving life advice about like, well, we got, let's talk about a Sunday <laughs> yard sale. <laughs> How'd that yard sale go, guys? You got pipes? You need a helpful They're tips? They're going to look Here's... up like home plumbing, improvement tips. Plumbing, yeah. plumbing fixes on YouTube, and it's going to come up with this episode. They're like, I don't fucking understand what's going on right now. Yeah, like, <laughs> how to unclog your drain. It's just a picture of a plunger. The people are like, let me check that out. <laughs> um, Welcome to the Wild Professional Podcast. <laughs> so I'm like, he's marking the concrete. He's looking at how deep the shit is. He's got this fucking like this this like ray gun looking thing. It's like, wee, wee. oh, is that the weird thing that was making noise? The, the shit the you were hearing, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's fucking it's measuring the depth. It's measuring the material type. It's fucking crazy, right? And I'm, I go, I go, hey man, like honestly, dude, like how much you fucking think this thing's gonna cost me, dude? I'm like, fuck, yeah, know? ten. 20. He's like, it could be 12, could be 10, <laughs> could be 6. Like, he gave me this, like, huge ass one. I'm like, fuck. And then I'm like, dude, here, man, don't worry, man. I'm going to refer you to this guy, Kelly, over at fucking plumbing construction. I'm like, God, who fuck. gives me kickbacks when God I refer damn right. Yeah, right, 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 right. So I'm He'll like, He'll take care of you, man. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, right, yeah. And then so I'm like, okay, so I'm calling him up and I'm like, getting a, I'm going to have him come out and give me a bid and everything else. I wake up Saturday morning at like 2 30 in the morning, right? I'm, this shit's fucking keeping me awake, you know, homeowner, fuck 10,000. Sounds like you just woke up because you were sleeping, though. <laughs> no, I'm I'm dreaming. No, I had a fucking dream, dude. And in my dream, I dreamt that my roof was slowly fucking collapsing. Ooh, and that's, that's what like got metaphoric. me out of the dream. Right. Oh, I'm man. like, fuck, dude. My whole house is like my life is just fucking ruined right now. And <laughs> the roof is coming down around. It's me. just biblical, man. <laughs> it is. But but like and then I, I, I ask I say to myself, and this is like everybody should fucking slow the fuck down. Think about your problems and decompartmentalize and 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 work a solution. So check did you it out. hear decompartmentalize on your computer? Just <laughs> no, now? it says festival. It's like, still with everybody festival. needs to factual. Okay. So their situation. Is, I think. What? I think to myself, and this is my thought process. I'm like every single house in this entire neighborhood's from 1901, right? I've never in two years seen anybody replace their fucking pipes. This is a problem that's probably plagued at well, least it's all in their 90 backyard, per- isn't it? Right. I've never seen any fucking. There's no construction going on ever. Like, no, no fucking excavators and pipes getting laid and all this other shit. And so I said, this problem has to be really common. Like, everybody's got fucking roots in their problem. Like, this is normal. If there's trees around. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And everyone has trees. And so I'm like, okay, there's got to be something. So I fucking Google, like, how to fucking get rid of roots and shit, right? 
and there's like fucking root killer. And I'm like, fuck yeah, bro. And not only that, there's <laughs> like levels really to this good. shit. Fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> the oh, root killer. Yeah. Dude. I'm like, fuck, I got a $20 fix for a $10,000 problem. Like, <laughs> You're just so, pushing it off. You're um, going to have to get that shit fixed. Hold on. There's levels to this shit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You're thinking weed killer because the problem always comes back. There is industrial. I wasn't dr- thinking anything. Okay. But there's, there you there is industrial. You don't put that shit in my brain. Oh, okay. There's industrial grade shit out there used for farms and ranches that is illegal in city limits. Will, which will fucking eradicate all organic life within it's a radius. It's only illegal if you get caught. Right. So, <laughs> that being said, I'm about to wage war. No. Um, so, they got this awesome... I'm trees. going to poison everybody. <laughs> so <laughs> Everybody gets sick around this fucking neighborhood. Yeah, there's like a What's trees going on? And, oh, there's trees some chemicals in your water. Falling and birds are falling out of the sky. Off. The trees come to life and just start fucking taking shit. So, I put um, uranium in my yeah. toilet. So there's root killer, um, and what's cool about the root killer, right? It foams wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You started talking about, like, there's some stuff that you can't get, and then I'm you're like, to that. I'm, oh, I'm putting root killer in my drink. I'll get to that. But, so the regular shit Don't make bought. me delete this episode to I, save your life. <laughs> okay? Okay, listen. <laughs> so this root killer- You gotta have some understanding about how to tell a story without implicating yourself in, in genocide Indeed. in Washington State. <laughs> Okay. The stuff he used is totally legit. It's legit. I oh, was it's with Home him when he Depot. Yeah, okay. yeah. Ro- it's called Robrick or something or whatever. Ro- I don't know. Whatever it is. Roblox. I don't know. But he poured it down. Was it at low? It, 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 it that swells lives? up and it gets like fucking super foamy. Is it for your drains? No, it's for the pipes. It's for his butthole. Okay. But what it does is it recoats the pipe. I like how it swells up. It, it does. It swells. Did you try it in your butthole? No, I didn't. Um, yeah. But it might burn. It prevents <laughs> roots from growing in there. And oh. you're supposed to do this twice a year as a homeowner. Like you're supposed to just regularly do this shit. And so you're supposed you'll to buy this it. shit and put yeah, it in your twenty dollars, dude. Flush it down your toilet. Do not put it down any other drains. It immediately starts fucking foaming up. You dump that shit. You can't touch it for eight to ten hours. You let it fucking work through the pipes. It'll coat the pipes. It'll kill all fucking organic life. Bum 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 and dump done. Dude. Kill all <laughs> bum, organic bum, bum, life. Bum 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 and done. <laughs> there, there, yeah, dude. And so anyway. I, I, I went deeper into the internet and I found there's like some hardcore How shit. How deep like, can you go? Dude, there's shit there's that's like. Hardcore shit. I mean, you can pour like cyanide and fucking. Yeah, like, let's avoid that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, where, I, where I mean, are you going to get that? Mixing Epsom salts and vinegar you and fucking. You can make some meth and then dump it down the drain. I mean, there's. I mean, yeah, there's crazy <laughs> shit. But. Um, Mix- what did you say? Mixing Epsom salts and what? <laughs> oh, there's all sorts of concoctions. There's no, what did like, you say? You said Epsom salt and vinegar? Uh, like ammonium sulfate. No wait, copper copper sulfate and this is gonna flag this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about what I'm learning in chemistry. It's about how gas, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> makes Flammable the gas. ozone layer. Not about how to build build things. Yeah, that's gay. Not, not Let's about how to make your own your own ozone layer. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's uh yeah, there's 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 remedies for uh roots and pipes, and uh, other than going to fucking get. 10,000. I was going to say something, but now I've lost track. But it was like, it sounds like some somebody's wife we know, Instagram stories. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, who, who, who are you talking about? I'm not saying shit. Okay. okay. Moving on. I just said it's like, Moving it, on. well, it's all women. They all fucking, they all post this. It's like, buy my goddamn fucking my pyramid scheme supplements. <laughs> Etsy, my Etsy hustle. Whatever the fuck it is. They're all retarded. Uh, Etsy, it's uh, we, no, uh, what about Etsy? Yeah, let's it's go on like a rant a ch- about Etsy. If you Etsy, were to give, if you were, were to, if you were a chick and listen. you were to name a fucking pyramid scheme after listen, something, listen, Etsy is not a pyramid. It scheme. is not. It's, it's, a it's literally where you make crafts. You're and a sell fucking them, idiot. Oh, okay, <laughs> but it's like a chick named it. Like it's listen, Etsy. listen. <laughs> yeah, but what I've does it even mean? You see those coins over there? Yeah, those were bought off Etsy. I bought some of those are like handmade coins that somebody etched themselves Did and you I bought them that off from Etsy, a certain off friend's wife. That's no, I bought that from a, a vendor on Etsy. Okay. They create shit. It's How a creating about space. Cuz I bought shit. That's like a marketplace. Like it- somebody advertises online and they're like, "Oh, by the way, you have to buy it through but isn't Etsy." It- I thought it was just I for women. My shit. No, it's not. Oh, like 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 Pinterest is just for women. It's like the Instagram for women. What? You're all, you're fucking high right now. No, I legitimately thought it was only for women. You can oh, get you're... recipes for lasagna God and shit right on Pinterest. Can. Some fucking chili. Do you go on Pinterest? I have. <clears throat> yeah, I've been there. Years ago, but I've been there. Do you guys chug cock? No. 
That's where I learned it. Absolutely. Oh, learned okay. Well, <laughs> you scroll down, it shows you pictures. It's like, do it yourself. Download this instruction After you make manual. the chili, you chug on the cocks. <laughs> Ch- There's only one thing to do after making a hot bowl of chili. It's f- suck a fat dick. Get all sloppy with it. Are you Are you looking at Pinterest right now? <laughs> uh, no, I'm looking at... You should um, probably close that. You don't need to be scrolling Instagram while we're having a conversation, you piece uh, of shit. Yeah, get off what? of there. Uh, people I'm, are going to look at that shit themselves. I thought you came, brought that to fact check. I didn't know what you he were... He did. What I'm, are you I'm fact checking? checking all and your then fact we found checking. out that he was it's, looking it's at It's secretly big recording. Words. Huh? What? Dude, that's my fucking screensaver. Yeah, right? I, I know. What should I do about it, Mark? <laughs> you should not be so facetious. <laughs> do you feel like Stop I'm being facetious? trying to be smart and stuff, dude. <laughs> Using fancy million dollar words yeah. in conversation. I don't know what the fuck a fucking fascia is, but <laughs> fascia. Sounds pretty smart to me and that's not what we're about. <laughs> you want to yeah. talk about how crazy the government is? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 So dumb. Oh. Government's fucking terrible. <laughs> that's what it is. I hate the government. <laughs> I fucking hate. Them. I love the government. That fucking... You guys are fucking. You just. You guys are unpatriotic for loving. My hat Lady says Macron. America. <laughs> oh, that has nothing to do with the government. You're right, but he's called me on. If you love America, you love the government. You're a liar. I. There are some people. You can that love believe your country. That. You can love your country and hate the fucking government. It's the same people that say a well-regulated militia means regulated by the government. <laughs> Listen, right? I caught you. Regula- you know what the word regulated means? It means maintained. Right. People, oh, people are fucking idiots. Well, people like to change language to fit their narrative. Narrative, right? Right. I don't like the militia part. It's just I don't either. I don't want to hang around a bunch of dudes. But it doesn't have to be a militia. It's just what they called prepared individuals back then. So people that put, people that will actually stand up and take care of business. You know, people that hang out at the sportsmen's club. There was a bar <laughs> out in Ocean Shores called the Green Lantern. And it was open at fucking 9 a.m. today, and it was really packed. Nice. I just thought about that. <laughs> People hanging out. Drinking at 9 a.m. Those, that's probably a fucking well-regulated horse. militia inside of that place. <laughs> They're all fucking well hand-regulated. Fuck Joe Biden! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. What was I talking about the other day? About oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how about Joe Biden, huh? How about Cog- him? Cognitive cognitive decline yeah poor old man it's unfortunate it's unfortunate we have to be represented like that it's just sad i was thinking today this is nothing to deal with joe joe riding joe Ryan. Um, it feels like everything these days is becoming a fucking government agency like everything you know i was telling you about the that little toady dude that was walking around with his clipboard today mm-hmm. when i was at yeah. the state park and they take every bit of control they they can gather. It feels like everything is it. turning into a state part. It's, it's sorry, a, a government regulation organization. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know. It's bullshit when you have to like muster up the courage to approach a perpetrator like yourself who didn't pay oh, the fucking. He did not muster up any courage. Law. He came right over to me like he was fucking excited about it. Oh, it's probably the only thing he did all day. You so, should not be excited about. I'll that. give some context for people yeah. that are listening, so we don't just like talk about it because i already told these dudes this but essentially i was at a, a state park that overlooked the pacific ocean yesterday camping with my son in a it's a public park state park right and that that is a conversation itself although like why do i have to pay to be there so anyway i bought this fucking discover pass because one of the volunteers told me like hey go you have to get a discover pass you can go up to the gas station and get that and it'll be instant and then if you get it from the fucking phone booth, you have to wait like 10 minutes or something like that, which ended up taking more than 10 minutes to get because the guy could barely speak English and he gave me a fucking <laughs> shellfish hunting license or some shit. Did you get that? I did. But then I said, I don't want to fucking go after shellfish. I want to fucking camp. Can I get a discovery pass? And he's like, sure. And they gave me $2 and 60 cents back. But anyway, <laughs> um, we camped all night and this dude came up to me and fucking essentially, long story short, started yelling at me. And I, I proceeded to tell him to get the fuck away from me. And I don't care. Just tell me what you need from me. Do you need money? Okay, I'll go pay it. And he insisted on telling me about how it was oh. important that you pay. And like, <laughs> how dare you say? <laughs> oh, what did, what did, I, what You're did gonna he get say an to education. me? He, he goes, <laughs> you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that you were camping here all night and you didn't pay and sign up for register? I was like, dude, I don't care. Here's, I don't care. Question. Were there any other people camping around you? Yeah. Okay. 
I was yeah. gonna say like you're the only person out there. And he's just like, oh, I'm gonna get this. No, the place guy. was pretty <laughs> packed, but there were open spots. It's not like I was taking the last one. But even so, like, oh, clumsy me. Oh, I didn't know. That I didn't know there was a spot. fucking fee. I'll bet you he doesn't pay. <laughs> yeah, you pay. <laughs> Did you pay? <laughs> I don't have to. I'm above the law. <laughs> Fuck you. I am the law. No, but I, I can't stand like you you were saying it earlier. It's like mm-hmm. people that try to impose their like level of caring. Like this is the import this yeah. job is important to this right, motherfucker. Right. And I didn't fucking know, but he's like, You mean to tell me like tears in his eyes and shit almost. Like, I don't fucking care, dude. I'm like saying I'm like in front of Jackson, I'm trying to keep my cool and he's just I feel him like staring, like, what's going to happen? Is he going to get in a fight or something? And I'm like, <laughs> My dad's dude, gonna beat this go guy away. I'll go pay your damn $30. I couldn't pay it, though, by the way, because the fucking slot is about that big, <laughs> and they're expecting you're putting dollars in the fucking thing. You don't have any cash on you. No. So no, I had, I had like? 30. I had, like, I've got bags of change for, like, total tolls and shit when I was coming across the United States. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, Jack's count out some money, and I was packing up the rest of the stuff. So he counted out the thirty dollars and change, and I went there, and I was like, "There's dollars and change." I was like, "There's no fucking way this is fitting through that slot because it literally was like this, like." So it was just like a, a pay box. Were you just supposed to like drop shit in? Yeah, yeah. Was it an envelope you had to fill out? Or an envelope okay. with the thing, and then <clears throat> gotcha. And I was like, "Man, I guess, That's we're leave- guess we're leaving." And there was nobody at the fucking office. I was of course like, not, dude. What do you want me to do? He was walking it's around fucking with system. his clipboard. Uh, look at that clipboard. Uh, it literally, as you enter the park, it says, it discover hand. pass required to enter. Right. And I was like, okay, that's all I need. Just curious, so, yeah. where was this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> He's out there on the ocean. Well, my license plate is this, and I parked in this spot. Uh, <laughs> it's on the, Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, it yeah. was along the Washington coast. Yeah, if you need that to. That guy's like, sitting at Robert's house listening to your <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> listening to the podcast. That son of a bitch. Some of a bitch. That dude listens to podcasts about state regulations. Yeah, oh yeah, he enjoys them. He probably runs the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, you know what he does? He's got a ham radio, and he's the fucking dude oh, that fuck. that does quizzes. All the check on Wednesdays and check ins. Oh, good to hear you check in. Oh, this there. call sign's not here. Looks like he lost his license. <laughs> <laughs> dude's like, God damn it, dude! I'm trying are to you have you. Which repeater are you using right now? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly who you're talking about. No, people that are a part of that want to be a part of that. Uh-huh. Talk about the fucking ham radio shit. If you could for a little bit. How uh, how stupid that shit Hand-held is. Handheld ham radios are different than repeater radios, right? Uh, no, the same thing. You got it's all the same thing. So a a handheld, do you know? Handheld, do you know about the the relay and like the check-ins and stuff like that? Yes. yes. Explain that to anybody that doesn't know. Well, none of away, us are sir. none of us are licensed. I, I'm so not I don't asking that. I'm saying license. like, what is? I have no education in. RF communication. No, no. I'm saying, like, do you know about the check-ins and, like, why people yes. do that and stuff? That's what I was My saying. understanding, and I'm completely wrong about this, is that to maintain <laughs> your license, you have to fucking do a check-in. You have to give out your FCC ID on a periodic okay. basis. And they do a... they do somebody a, they reports literally, it, right? Somebody reports it. They literally... They have a clipboard, and they fucking go down the list, and these guys, you know, nerd out for five minutes. And um, I, I don't know. I may be wrong about all that, but... Um, but I feel like yeah. the people that are doing the check-ins and go through the process of getting their license oh, to very, talk to yeah. other old ass people on the fucking on a radio <laughs> waves, they want to check in and they wait for it all oh, week yeah. to be like, I'm fucking here. I'm not gonna lose my license. Old fucking Squeaks McGee six <laughs> four Squeaks McGee like, out in Montana. He didn't so, check in, report him. You see that Sony down there? I have the Sony speaker down there, right? Mm-hmm. It's a it's a woofer, okay? At my old house, I would turn that shit on, and it's got such a big magnet on it, mm-hmm. it would catch the frequency of the guy wow. down the street that's talking on his fucking ham radio. Mm-hmm. And all I would hear for, like, hours at a time is him just repeating himself and saying, hello, hello, hello. Just this is fucking Tango trying Whiskey to... 38, oh, seven. man, it was terrible. I would hear him having conversations with some other old guy on there. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to blow my brains out, dude. <laughs> so, I had like, I'm trying to watch something on TV, and my woofer's on because I'm trying to watch your know, surround sound and shit. Mm-hmm. And then all I hear is, oh, 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 oh my <laughs> fuck. So I got to turn that shit off and listen without surround sound. Yeah. Oh, that asshole. Well, um, yeah. Oh. I got into that for like a week, and I was like, this is some fucking gay nerd shit. I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, I Why can't did you get into it? Because uh, I got a couple of bow things. I was like, I got these things. I might as well learn. I, I know how to use them. Like, I yeah. 
you know, watched YouTube videos and everything. <laughs> well, you can use those as a two-way communication device oh, when they're you're on the super woods. fucking useful, yeah. And everybody should do that. No. Um, it's kind of like a walkie-talkie. Right. But then it, it, it's like when, anytime you get into a new endeavor, you get sucked more into the fucking activity. And I'm all like Tuesday nights at 6.30 listening to fucking the oh, local yeah. fucking thing. And it's... And didn't we do that up at a, at the camp one time? Yeah, we, we were listening to those that, yeah. fucking dorks. <laughs> we ended up doing it the next oh, time. Oh, we some up world there too. history <laughs> trivia. Je- Jeffrey, uh, <laughs> well, Jeffrey. You, you always get these, buddy. Let's <laughs> we all take a turn. It was the first handheld ham radio frequency. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you hear me on there go. Oh, I don't fucking care, dude. I will say this though: Just what's get to the phone super sex. fucking crazy? <laughs> in t- Are we gonna like talk Camp about d- dude shit? Like, what are you wearing, bro? Do you know about number stations? You ever heard of it about no. a number station? Okay, so number stations are fucking super interesting. Sounds like nerd shit. It, it is, but like, it's fucking I've heard government. It. I heard you about this recently. Stations. Somebody, I yeah. I put up a Instagram story yeah. and said, like, what should I talk about? And somebody said number stations. And they're like, look that shit up on yeah. YouTube. I was like, okay. It's, I haven't yet. So tell us about it. I'm number, from what tell, I know, and this is via it. Wikipedia. <laughs> this is not personal. N- number stations started in the 50s, possibly, right around the kind of the Cold War was ramping up kind of thing, Russia. And what they were doing was they were embedding frequencies in other countries and the number stations it nobody understands where they come from nobody understands anything all you hear is you just turn your frequency and you'll hear a 47 61 ah, three shit. CIA okay. shit. coded okay. shit oh, right yeah, for sure in olympia in 2016 i was randomly going through the fucking ham radio right and so for about a period of about one week right i was listening to a number station local <laughs> Okay, I know, dude, it's fucking weird, bro. Like, I mean, did you write the numbers down? No, it wasn't numbers. It was this. It was a man, middle aged guy. It was it was repeat. So it would, the the You're message just breathing the whole time. The message would go David, for like two minutes a time, right? It was a two minute message David. set repeatedly over and over again for a period of about a week, right? Okay. And it was the message goes like this. It was it random shit. It was like the red fox jumps at noon. Oh shit! The yeah. shotgun shell. <clears throat> The shotgun shell is a dud. Like, it, it was this random fucking shit for two minutes on repeat for one week, and Man, that was really it. Done. Some people like this. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I was like, and I. And I've never, and I listen to the people ham radio. are just in their attic going fucking mental. Oh, no, it wasn't me. me. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was fat, and, and it, it no, and it wasn't. It wasn't a person. It was a recording, you know. And it was just super fucking weird. I was like, oh my god, dude, like, what is this? Goddamn shit? Skynet. And it did it go away? It went away after a week. Yeah, it just disappeared off the. Frequency. That's fucking yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah, no idea. So, it's a super slick way to communicate if you want to code shit. You know, dude, you remember when we were up on? It, it was when we went up to the. Up to Lake of the Angels. Lake of the Angels, yeah. And uh, I Is found a Russian frequency. It was a goddamn Russian station. Mm. <laughs> it was just playing Mother Russia's music. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. that was weird. Yeah, shortwave radios are dope, bro, dude. That's yeah. like, like, I know, like, all nerd shit aside, but, like, I was listening to, like, Cuban propaganda because it's all in English and shit. Yeah. God damn, it was Cuban, dude. and it was like, so, the famous state author, blah, 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 like, uh, th- th- so what they'll do is they bring down fucking English-speaking people. And they'll oh, yeah. do the, they'll do it, they'll pay them, and they'll like fucking read off like pro government artists, pro government, you know, entertainers, and they put out fucking like pro government like entertainment. And oh yeah, it's super fucking propaganda. It's like holy fuck, this is like what communist countries do and shit. Yeah. Shit. But yeah, anyway, that's 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 all I got. That's interesting, dude. Yeah, I was like, yeah, so. Fucking, David brought two topics to this fucking conversation. Dude, today. David's podcast. Get a man, fucking you dude, dude, it. You do yourself you. a favor, dude. Get yourself a shortwave radio. It's different than a ham radio. Shortwave. What's the difference? So <laughs> a shortwave radio has the ability. If the night, you know, the sky's clear, right? You can listen to frequencies all over the world. Oh, yeah. Like fancy. Just it's a it's a very it's like a super detailed radio that okay. you just like scope. And you does can, it look like a CB or something? It looks just like a. It looks like just a radio. I, I got one. I can show you, but like it's. I should have brought it. It right. looks like like you mean like an FM AM radio. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. Okay. Only it, it's going to have like FM AM. It's going to have yeah, like yeah, all yeah. these fucking other things. Okay. It, yeah. And then you can adjust like the sideway bandwidth. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you're hearing some shit from South Africa. Tubes? 
Yeah, yeah, mm. and that's and pretty cool. It, yeah, so you can listen to like communist shit and like. I mean, not Chinese that I'm shit. interested in listening to communist communist shit, but but it's if, yeah. we, if we ever fight them reds. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Speaking so, of, <laughs> speaking yeah. of the Red Army. Well, I mean, today is the 14th in in it's, Ukraine, right? Oh yeah. Has yeah. anything happened yet? <clears throat> oh, I doubt I it. Know. We would have heard about it already. Yeah. yeah. I I think that Russia is just posturing. And waiting for Ukraine to make a move so they can blame Ukraine. Because yeah. we all know Russia's trying to annex more of that area. All right, I'm going to just introduce a real layman's perspective to this conversation. Do me, it. me not knowing any geopolitical bullshit. What the fuck is up with Putin? <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. He's in love with himself? Well, hold on. I understand the history of Russia begins in the Ukraine. And I think it's an idealistic thing. He wants to reunite that the Russian Federation with the Ukrainian country. And obviously there's benefits that come with that, with the black sea and everything else. Right. It's, it's landmass, right? Dude, you got people in fucking Ukraine that want to be left alone. Like what the yeah. fuck is this shit? Dude, the one man's idea is going to cross <laughs> borders and you're going to fucking dude. I was looking at videotapes of like moms and shit, like, like housewives, like with AKs. Fucking yeah. Bro, they're yeah. All training and shit. Oh and my pre- God. Dude, leave people alone. The same could be said about the U.S. government, though, too. It's very true. Yeah. Like, yeah, but we don't acquire land. We acquire, we have business interests we do try to acquire, right? Like, oh, guarding we, we fucking lithium mines in <laughs> Afghanistan and shit, you know? But, like... <clears throat> Among other things. Yeah. America. Which, which it, it, what China it does has is... the lithium mines. Yep, unfortunately. But, like, it's proof that, like, people are good people. Like, the Russian people are good. <laughs> Ukrainians are good. Everyone's it's the fucking governments, dude. That's you know, the point of this. The yeah. government's bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's amazing that like who knows what's going to break into World War 3. It seems pretty risky for everybody in the entire it seems like a fucking extinct extinction level event if that happens. It's not just like fucking World War 2 where we have all the nukes. It's like everybody has all the fucking well, nukes. What's really interesting about that concept to me is that Everybody does have the nukes, but everybody's posturing with conventional fucking guns and rockets, and yeah. they're digging trenches and creating strongholds and backup plans. When all they gotta do is press the fucking button, and everybody dies. So, well, they, I think it's <clears throat> it's posturing. If if one goes, the entire fucking yeah, world goes and everybody up. Else it's is no, it, yeah. yeah, that's like. Uh, like Hiroshima, Nagasaki, it's like yeah. we were the only ones able to do that. No one else could fucking, you know, retort with that. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. where are we at now? It's like we're, we're fight, fucking Iran, China, and Russia, like yeah. against, uh, the, you know, the NATO. And those are just the nuclear. <laughs> that's just that's just the, the superpowers. Yeah, you know? India's got them. Yeah, like, and all the other countries that hate the uh, U.S. Uh, as well. It's um, I, I was explaining it like this. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, dude. Why are you gonna piss You're so mad, much? Dude. I'm not mad. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I just have to wait till you come in so we can have an Weak actual conversation bitch. about this. What's up with him? I don't know. Small bladder. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he's maybe got the, a prostate problem. <laughs> maybe he was up on the roof over that that pipe when the snake went up there, oh, and he's just, just like, "Oh, you got it on the roof!" It's like <laughs> flapping around. That thing that expands in his rectum. Yeah. He's talking about just. <laughs> he's like so you gotta put that in your ass and then shit it into the toilet right you don't touch it you don't touch it oh man you don't touch it i hear him shitting <laughs> <laughs> he's he's taking a piss <laughs> no one's gonna see that <laughs> I use it for clips. I haven't posted. I haven't so, posted a dude, single fucking YouTube video. Just extended. <laughs> in the wa- I'm in really wa- sorry, dude. It's okay. I know. I know. I know. You wanted to finish your thought. I, I couldn't. Yeah, I, I forgot what was I I'm talking sorry, about. Dude. Oh, I was saying that this is like um, you watch some stuff about Putin and uh, the way he thinks about things and whatnot mm-hmm. about what he thinks about Ukraine. I I recently watched a thirty minute like docu whatever on YouTube about what he thinks about Ukraine and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And you, you hear it from his perspective and um, obviously they translate it, but um, you never know what, I mean, obviously like, I don't know 
what he wants. I don't really think about Putin that much, right? But the I think about him all the time. I bet you do, you faggot. I mean, what? Sorry. Especially when he's on horseback without a shirt. <laughs> um, it'd be like it would. It's kind of like if Russia was to come over to Canada and put fucking weapons along the border of the United States and Canada to mm. support the Canadians in the in their defense of the U S coming into, you know, if it was mm-hmm. flipped over, yeah, you know, I forget some, I was talking to somebody about this and they're like, I don't think they would, I don't think we would do shit about it. And I was like, Oh, you best believe we would. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, you know what would. I mean? And so like, you know, obviously geopolitical, but he's, I think he was saying like, don't put, don't move East anymore, you know, and NATO yeah. and Ukraine's not a part of NATO and, it's one of those things. There's a whole bunch so, to it. So you guys know what Putin's demands are? There's like three main demands that he's making. Go explain. Uh, one of them is deny Ukraine NATO admission. The next one is I forgot. Oh, <laughs> how cool. about you look him up? Yeah, let's look him up. So Hold you on. can well, have your thing. You got to go first, to the dot ru websites though. To that. To that first. Really? To that okay. first no, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Did> I, <laughs> I'm just saying that. <laughs> I was to literally deny, to, you. to try to deny Ukraine NATO support. It's n- NATO, it's right? Clearly, oh, well, they don't now want Eastern expansion of NATO. They don't yeah. want any expansion of NATO. Which, by the way, like that tells you a lot, right there. Like, well, what's garbage. wrong with NATO? Sure, you can say that, but why do you want NATO to go away? Like, well, because then they won't have backup. Yeah. Right. See. Yeah. yeah right. Uh, well, I'm having a hard time finding fucking his. Something about. Sorry, this is some really great podcasting right now. I, I, I'm not someone who like, I'm not going to sympathize with any of this stuff about any of this shit because I don't know enough and I'm not going to fucking sit here and be like, yeah, but the U.S. does this. But like we, we do this shit all the time. And yeah. It's like, all they're, right. they're the fucking evil ones. It's government chess playing. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone to sit there and be it, like, right. but they're the evil ones. And it's like, you look at like um, how much damage the U.S. causes around the entire fucking globe and has it kills millions of people a fucking year. This isn't me turning it into a communist. I, mean, I don't know if we you sound like a liberal, buddy. <laughs> we do. Millions? Millions of people a year, yeah. Shit. Through, because of indirect and direct. Through, oh, okay, yeah, okay. through uh, and proxy wars and... Very true. CI. Yeah, you think CI. about that bullet we gave the militia group, and if we didn't <laughs> give it to them, yeah. they, somebody would be alive right now, right? I don't know. It's fucking... Me- Human beings are horrible, corrupt entities, and when you give them fucking power, right, and if they've been in office since 2000, and they don't seem to want to go anywhere anytime yeah, soon... Yeah, war is money. What do you think's going to... I had this conversation with a certain somebody yesterday. I said... You can hate Donald Trump all you want, right? Donald Trump was on a timeline of four years. And if he got lucky, he may have gotten eight. Putin's been in office since 2000, far as I know. Okay? You can hate Trump. We live in a fucking great country. You know what I mean? And that No one's denying that. Yeah. Well, there's some people that don't understand that abroad. Like Xi Jinping, right? Who's been... I think he's been in... I may be wrong, but I want to say maybe since 99. Well, and he... he had the people vote to keep him in office until he dies too. Yeah. He like made himself like, supreme it's crazy. Like just because you have a democracy does not mean you have a democracy. Yeah. Like the word democracy. North Korea calls the it actual... the people's republic and they hold elections every year. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's one guy on the ballot. <laughs> and if you might, fuck... well, my point before wasn't to yeah. say that we're this horrible country or anything. My right. point is to say like, to sit there and say like, how dare Putin act this way? Or yeah. how dare they do this? It's like, they got their own fucking countries, yeah. and we do a lot of bad shit ourselves. So how dare we Listen, in some regards? All I'm saying is if those reds come over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mullet mark over here. <laughs> no, I had this thought the other day, dudes. Like, and I, 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 I might have gotten it from Rogan. but Yeah, it probably. But <laughs> you literally listen to Rogan and the Vile you've Professor got, podcast. You've got, you've got belligerent Jocko countries Willy. out there with no term limits, like, oh, yeah. watching <clears> us. And we're doing this shit every four years in this country politically because of our term limits. Yeah. yeah, we're doing this shit all the time. Could that be the death of us? Being that we're a 200-year-old country and our shit, we, we can't uh, even get that shit straight. You know what I mean? And they're just watching us, you know? 
Well, I think more than anything, the media, like everybody's been talking and starting to wise up, they are the problem. Absolutely. I think the media is the fucking enemy of the state. Yeah. And it's through the people that fund it. Like, how many, do you see that Pfizer fucking ad shit Mm -hmm. that was like funding every single left wing media organization out there? No, I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, it's I'll brought to you by, and that, who knows, some... each, each one had commercials, or, or not commercials, but yeah. sponsored ads are like, brought to you by, this, today's broadcast brought to you by Pfizer. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck it. It wasn't here. just like a thing that was overlaid, yeah. it was the people saying Well, it I mean, too. that's even more scary. Like, we're like collapsing from within, just from the information being circulated. It's, it's, it's about who controls the information. Yeah. This is why you go to a restrictive, government controls media in China. Because they yeah. understand that freedom of speech and shit Didn't like that. Didn't you hear something recently about Washington? Was it was it you? Yeah. Washington sponsored state media. So in it was Washington like ad, state, it was like a thing okay. that was like promotion for state agenda. Just shit. an interesting thing. So a certain somebody in my life had a certain family lim- family member come up from Texas, Houston for Christmas, right? The first thing she noticed, and she's been living in Texas for a while now, she goes, "Your news in Washington State is very different than Texas." Your news is very sort of pro government. It feels very Department of Health, County Health. Yeah, yep. It feels very Washington State Patrol has a spokesperson giving us traffic reports on yep. it. It's v- the news media local in Washington. I'm only talking about local news media here, not yeah, talking yeah. national. Local news media in Washington State is extremely in bed with local agencies. Oh, absolutely. If there is I a completely sp- agree with that. If there is a spokesperson on camera from a state agency, whether it's on DSHS seven. Cairo 7, State Patrol, King whoever, five. you have to understand that there is a relationship between that yep. a- agency and a representative of that news network. Yep. And I'm not going to say this particular channel, but at the beginning, I before say Christmas, person, I was like, I know who he's talking about already. No, there's a prominent <laughs> go off local news channel here in Washington State that went and shit canned. S- some of them will say they retired early. But I, whatever, you can kind of draw your own conclusions. Half of the entire anchors were let go and replaced, half of them. And it starts with a Q and it ends with a number. But, and then. Why don't you just say it? I mean, it's Q13, Fox. Well, okay, fine. (laughs) Yeah, what is, why are you hiding that? Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. He thinks they're going to come for him. No, he but takes, it, was, it was it was super. It was what that one he's particular got, news he's got network. Ads for him. <laughs> yeah, and and um, misinformation. <laughs> it was right around the time when when the big news story was all of the first responders losing their jobs because of the okay. COVID, the, yeah, yeah. the vaccination requirements. Right, and it was kind of like right before, like it was like either before, or right after uh, Thanksgiving. You know, all these anchors are just announcing. You know, hey, I've decided to take another job. It's an early retirement. There was a certain, uh, there was even a gay. That's uh, happening with radio hosts right now, too. Oh, I heard a bunch of them, yeah. a lot of like really prominent radio hosts are doing the same thing. Early like, retirement, right? I'm retiring or, or yeah. like, oh, I'm, this is my last broadcast. Yeah. yeah. They had a gay uh, weather reporter on the channel and he goes, you know, I'm, th- you know, I'm going to be leaving. <laughs> you don't have to do his voice. I, yes, oh, you do. He's a human. Yes, being. you fucking I, do. No, but the guy the was voice. like, the guy was literally like, <laughs> do he it was extra. like, I don't have any backup plan. Like he said, oh, that, he said shit. that shit. Yeah. Ooh. I'm like, God that's damn. a little peek into the window. And then there's, I don't know what I'm going to do. There is a, she was a very well liked political commentator on the channel. She now has a pretty good podcast. She said she quit. I don't want to say names. I just don't want to. You know, okay. Yeah, I mean, but say their names. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking, right? But I mean, I just if was, anybody gives a shit, they was, can dig in and find my out. My question so, was, yeah. why were you hiding a, a news organization's name? That's I don't. No, I don't want to name names, and you know, I don't know what the they don't listen to this fucking podcast. Really you can say whatever; it's yeah, free speech it's out there, like forever. In the You're goddamn guys. right, it is, and they'll hear my voice saying it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? No, but it's it's it, there's a lot of fucking moving pieces now, dude. And Washington State is a good example of uh, it's very state sponsored. Absolutely, it feels really fucking like you're in a classroom. You're mm-hmm. getting fucking scolded by the teacher with a finger being pointed at you. Yeah. Right. Every, anytime there's a. Anytime you disagree. You got to turn that shit off. Yeah. What's crazy is the there's no term limits for the governor. No. And that motherfucker yeah. just staying. There's no term limits for senators, congressmen, it's nothing. He's just fucking yeah. staying, dude. He's never going away. Yeah. Fucking hate that guy. Him and his dumpy ass fucking gargoyle wife Trudy. Fuck that <laughs> bitch. 
Uh, I said, I was like, I wish an orca whale would have fucking grabbed her off that boat of his, <laughs> like, <laughs> he's got a, a post on Instagram. Yeah. I don't wish her, her any, but no. she is a fat fucking ugly little troll. <laughs> and Jay Inslee has too much gum. How do you really feel, Mike? Huh? I know. <laughs> I th- personally, I think if you lisp, if you have a fucking strong lisp, you should know, you shouldn't be allowed to be a public speaker. Why do you keep and having that- me on this podcast? <laughs> You have a fucking um, S in your name and you list. Listen, you it, get it, some speech therapy, you fucking suck ass. We live in a time, it's like the fucking, it's like what they say. Like, hard times create hard men, hard men create good times, good times create weak men, weak men create hard times. We're in kind of the weak men create hard times phase right now. And what I see is just straight up fucking weak leadership. I mean. Well, it's it's not even that it's weak leadership, it's that it's weak minded people right now. It could be the the shittiest leadership and the weakest leadership, but everybody's just going along with what they fucking tell them so, to do. So weak leadership, weak yeah. sheep. Yes. Right. Yeah. So and and I'll start back in Seattle. Fucking Jenny Durkin, weak leadership. Absolutely. Carmen Best, weak leadership. Absolutely. She, I don't know why that woman's putting out a fucking book now. She was a complete oh, fucking fuck. failure of a goddamn. I don't know who chief. these people are. Carmen Best was King the police County. chief who voluntarily gave up the East Precinct during the Chop Chaz oh, occupation. Yeah. Right. And, um, you know, and she was, you know, double minded, fucking didn't know what to do. I mean, I mean, it's just weak leadership from the top down to the fucking people. And now and trying to capitalize on their. So there was a, like that. uh, there was a, I'm going to, I hope I get this right. Um, there was a recently released document from the mayor's office under Durkin drafted a drafted proclamation. Yep. To legally hand over real estate. The real estate was the East Precinct. They were legally they going were to turn it, it over to Black Lives Matter, right? That's fucking insane. Property ownership, right? Yeah. Um, it never passed. It never went anywhere, oh, yeah. obviously, right? Can but, you imagine if, yeah. they, if they took over that and then they like didn't have to pay taxes on it? And it like, oh, man. But my it's thing is, like, <laughs> what, like, I don't understand, like, and I'm going to rant here for a second, is, like, how do you fucking even think like that? Like... You've got this belligerent. It's not that they're whatever. thinking like that. It's that they're told to think like that. Right. But that's your solution. Your solution is to fucking bend over and yes. give in to the demands of some kind of a fucking occupying force. Like, what yes. the fuck is that? I don't care whatever the group is. Yep. That's what you want to do. You like, fucking get mad. I'm like, <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. Like, seriously. Like, you like what treat community that group, do you live in? Like, you treat, treat that group like David's uh, oil condom in his toilet yeah you fucking stick a snake in there and you (laughs) all right all right get rid of the fucking oil (laughs) we never got to the to the cause of your backup problem here Hmm. in your house so evidently you're not supposed to flush condoms down the toilet but (laughs) i thought that's not what you were putting in your fucking toilet or yeah in that you were putting that down your toilet what you what were you putting down your sink everything everything oh noodles you have a garbage disposal no you dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's not even podcasting anymore. <laughs> no, I am. So, yeah. for those of you listening, if you have bacon grease, if you have food, and you're washing your, dis- your dishes, put that shit in a compost, throw it outside, don't fucking put it down your drain. And a garbage disposal costs There is a <laughs> reason your shit got backed up, yeah. and it's all the shit you put down your sink. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. Oh, Can you yeah, put yeah. a garbage disposal in? Oh, yeah. But you still shouldn't pour grease down your fucking sink. No. That'll fuck your pipes up. Yeah, I mean, over, yeah, that. but I mean, there's so, there's, so yeah. So when he was yeah. dragging the snake through your right. your butthole drain, right? Yeah, and my butthole. <laughs> so he found. What did he find? Uh, besides, the, besides the roots. Oh, you just found. There, so about maybe ten feet into the pipe, mm-hmm. there was like just a grease like. It looked Ball. like a fist, and there God was a small damn. hole through it. Right. I would be. <laughs> yeah. I would be. Uh, terrified to find out if something was in that like it's a bunch of, it's like a, a sack of baby spiders it's fucking organism <laughs> like, it's all pulsing he's like what is that it's like this black grease spot yeah. and you poke it and then spiders start going in your house yeah but i learned a value fucking lesson. termites like, and this is for all of you homeowners out there you're supposed to clean your pipes out like <laughs> once, twice a year <laughs> take yeah. care of your shit yeah just plug, plug weed weed killer down it and, <laughs> weed, weed killer. <laughs> and pour like industrial grade fucking 
Root killer. Uh, acidic Pesticides. material to Pesticides. clean your pipes, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's like you brush your teeth. Why not clean your pipes? You know I mean? <laughs> it's nothing to do with nothing to do with that. It's a little different. So yeah, it's it's I don't know, man. Like it's a crazy time we live in. So I don't know what you guys think, but um, it makes me fired up. It just boils my potatoes. <laughs> Get an I'm not drunk right now. That boils my potatoes. That's mm. crazy, though. Potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, like. You want to know this crazy theory I heard? Mm. Yes. All right. This this most recent one. What about... if I said no and we just end this right now? I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, I don't want any more content. It's completely off topic and it brings it to, you know, the Rona, whatever. Um, I heard, and I don't believe this one bit, but be crazy if it were true. I, I'm not worried about that, getting canceled on Spotify. That, uh. <laughs> That they used the HIV, uh, like base disease, right, to create the vaccine, and that people that got the vaccine now have HIV. And Is that, that true? The, and that the <laughs> that the uh, this is misinformation, Mark. Oh, I, that, it's not. I said this mi- is a theory. I didn't say this is proof. It depends on. I love so, how like the so the vaccine and yeah. all the boosters are getting are treatments for hiv to keep the people from getting full-blown aids everyone has aids <laughs> they, they foresaw that shit <laughs> that, imagine that, that imagine was... that shit team america there's gonna be a fucking it. label on this be like for more information go to the only organization <laughs> you're allowed to listen to cdc.org yeah. <laughs> yeah. i don't know isn't yeah. that isn't that funny how that fucking that label immediately makes you think that there's nothing wrong with this fucking oh, content? Yo, it's just dude. like putting Pops it on the bottom. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, it's funny when people put like they put their like tags and shit, and it's like at the bottom. Yeah. It's like you fool, you talk about COVID, <laughs> and then you're putting the things at the bottom, <laughs> and now it's covered up by a CDC <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah, if you're gonna talk really about COVID, top. put it above <laughs> yeah. the fucking yeah, <laughs> put it at the top. <laughs> just look aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> It's almost a badge of honor now. Like when you post something and you get the little fucking. Dude, wait till you get the red letters. <laughs> then oh, it's misinformation. It's red, it's fact red's check. worse, right? Oh, yeah. Red means you're telling a fucking lie. <laughs> According to whoever puts the red letters. Uh, what I ways. think is crazy is Babylon B never gets a fucking misinformation, even though it's satire. That's because they label, label themselves as satire, though, right? Yeah, but is that the. Can you do that? Can you just do that and then you're fucking exempt from. From I don't know, let's fucking bullshit. try it. I would be really scared <laughs> in society if you start seeing more Babylon bees popping up. There's a lot of them. The onion is satire. It's a Babylon. It's kind of a left wing version. They they're against both sides. Okay, they they make fun of everything. But you get what I'm saying though. That's freedom of speech being when yeah. you have to hide now behind satire to that get your message to out. That happened the Babylon yeah. bee. Yeah. They've been censored, and they're like, dude, we're just making shit up. <laughs> right, but what I'm saying they is make when you see more of that it's coming like, up, it's like, you know, you can't talk. You can't Babylon fucking... B has an altar mm. page called Not the B. <laughs> more factual. It's actually factual. Factual. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, this sounds satire, but it's real. Uh, yeah, they put uh, out the real shit. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, That's what I look for when I see Babylon B. I'm like, is this not the B? Yeah. (laughs) You're like, wait, is this the real one? Dude, Babylon B is a Christian organization. You know that? I did not know that. I thought they made fun of Christian. No, they're very uh, like uh, Christian. Are you saying that because... How did you figure that out? This is misinformation. Uh, I saw a vi- no, 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 no. I saw a video. I'm trying to it's remember. Propaganda. God, I, I, I don't remember the video. But <laughs> the news like, put it out. It's Q13 Fox. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's like a Christian organization. Like oh. They're like, yeah, a bunch of preachers or something that make up all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> sounds like a lie. <laughs> sounds bullshit. Sounds, it sounds like, like I, oh, you guys can look it up. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You have a computer right in front of you. Okay. Yeah, that's a great question. Let's find <laughs> out. Nobody. I just thought pull of this. that shit up, David. They, so Trump used to say fake news all the time, yeah. and they appropriated that term and called it misinformation. Yep, to fucking get to like control it. Mm-hmm. Wow, amazing. Fact. What are you fact checking now? Fake news you can trust. Uh, yeah, here it is. The Babylon B to all the different Christian guide to Christian denominations. Hold on. David, I, th- I saw that's something. That's a satire at article. You don't. You think they're all bullshit? <laughs> the Babylon like, Bee guys is fake. To all, all the it. different Christian denominations. <laughs> yeah, maybe they are fake. Maybe I just. It saw is some fake. Bullshit. That's what the point of it is. <laughs> um, all of it. about us. Okay, let's see what that says. The Babylon Bee is the world's best satire site. Totally in inert. 
in all of its truth claims. We write a satire about Christian stuff, political stuff, so and everyday politicians. life. The Babylon Bee was created, and I can't even pronounce that word, but... You, you can't that? pronounce a word? Yeah. <laughs> ex nihilo. Or ex... Nihilo. Nihilo, okay. All right. On the eighth day of the creation week, exactly 6,000 years ago, we have been the premier days, news source <laughs> through Say every what? major world event. It's a fucking satire From the article. Tower of Babel <laughs> and the exodus of the Reformation and the War of 1812. This is what you read. We focus on just the facts, leaving out the spin and bias to the other news sites like CNN, Fox News. You fucking idiot. Hold on. If you would like to <laughs> complain about something on our site... Take it up with God. Unlike <laughs> other satire sites, everything we post is 100% verified by Snopes. <laughs> That's the funniest Listen, about us. You thought <laughs> you thought this was a Christian organization. I I saw a video and <laughs> oh, they said it was. Oh, I don't know. okay. Oh. Got it. Yeah. What else we got to talk about, dudes? David ran this episode. I'm he very did. proud of you. I'm, I'm you you didn't hold dude. back. You did hold back at one point. I had to fucking punk you and say like, "What did I hold back?" Hey, you bitch, say their say name. names. I don't, I don't want to tell anybody's name. No, I don't want to drop names. I mean, why not? Just the I'm not saying people's names. If but you the don't organization, want to, organization, like fine. giving out <clears throat> location detail information. But you yeah, asked me to say address. where I camped last night. You ready <laughs> yeah. to throw me? Yeah. So where'd you go? Yes. Sorry, my Christ. Did you get that? Hmm? Park Ranger's name? No. That would have been awesome. It was hard to see. He was fucking like three feet below me. <laughs> he was a short, He's such a midget. He was a small of a man. Fires me up, dude. That's like <laughs> like when you were going off, that's like I you fucking see my eyes start going <laughs> and turning red and you have steam coming out of you. Let me ears. fucking tell you about this guy. <laughs> Park Ranger. Was he an yeah. actual ranger? He was something was he, he had just a, like a guy that He was a state employee, whoever they are yeah. that run the state parks and pick the trash and collect fees nice. like when i was in uh you know idaho she, there was a chick that came around asking because if i show up late or something like that i just go i usually will go pay the shit later yeah unless you're sl- unless i can't fit it in your slot and then i'm like fuck it we're gonna go <laughs> buy fucking dairy queen or some shit with this money support the state somehow um but yeah i don't know what he, he's just a fucking hobbit walking around <laughs> Do you have my gold? <laughs> like That's a, a leprechaun, Mike. <laughs> Hobbit, look. They're all the same, dude. <laughs> Hobbits, <laughs> leprechauns, elves, fucking. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was pretty fired up about, uh, yeah, yeah. you making sure you pay. You motherfucker yeah. getting around the rules and all this. <laughs> I was going to ask you guys, I, I was. I knew we were podcasting. I was going to like, is there something that you learned over this past year in your life? Oof. And I I had something that some one of you guys taught me, and I forget it? what the fuck it was. Fuck. So obviously I didn't learn shit. But have you guys <laughs> have you guys learned something over this past year? It was like cool. About, it was really like cool. Life? You guys taught about somebody. 21? Maybe it was my son said something like that. I don't know. <laughs> somebody told me something. I was like, oh, I learned something new this year. Fuck. Mm, I don't know. I'm learning a lot right now. <laughs> what did you learn anything over this year? Did you become a better person, David? In 21. I don't think so. Over COVID. Uh, 21, 21. I don't know. It's a blur. Cause we're all no, like during co- the past two years. The past, the past two years. What'd two you, years. Are you talking did like. Did you become a you better person life? or did you stay the same? Um, Do you want me to be a better person? I'd, <laughs> like, I'd, the I'd liver became. king wants you to become a better person. <laughs> I learned. In fact, I, you're never going to be as good as the liver <laughs> king. You can't stare at the sun. Yeah, that's an inaccuracy. <laughs> you're sun. You're not sun gazing and taking the twenty five ancestral tenets. You need to be chewing on sticks from the woods. <laughs> Don't worry about the fact it was in a pile of dog shit. You, you that, <laughs> that supports your natural gut biome. <laughs> Dude, you're just saying words. You're saying words. Mm-hmm. You're no fucking gut scientist. Mm, he's, he's an expert he's, at TRT. Well, as a matter of fact, I am a gut scientist. <laughs> yeah. well, um, <laughs> Look at my giant distended belly. I am a gut scientist. There's guys, no way that is induced by testosterone injection. He, he, he announced off his education because somebody called him out on like his education. Did they call him out? Yeah, he has like a ba- bachelor's in like sports medicine and all this oh, other shit. Fuck. Yeah, I um, man, he's <laughs> so he knows exactly where to put the drugs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Would you? Would you? Would you learn about yourself or learn? We general? didn't even get to you. Oh well, you go first. I don't know. I'll tell I I so, can pick something else I learned because I learned plenty all the what'd time. What'd you learn? What'd you learn? Um, 
I so traveling across the country multiple times once in with year, COVID, once with COVID, <laughs> with and COVID. saying "fuck the world," everyone gets it. <laughs> I'm the reason there's herd immunity. All right, I'm the reason. It's Mike's like the mother. The fucking F- the FBI no, comes to my house. Technically, <laughs> technically, I'm the reason. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> He's patient zero, and I'm the one that gave it to everybody else. Yeah. Um, I I learned what's important in life. That's what I learned. And it's time with friends and family. You're fucking right. And going across the country for a fucking job mm-hmm. over and over again is bullshit. It sucks ass. As much as I you like enjoyed, the You enjoyed work. it the first 30 days. <laughs> What's that? You enjoyed it the first 30 days. When I was there the yeah, first 30 yeah, days? When you got down there, you were a different man. Well, it's a different place. Yeah. I mean, with all the bullshit right. going on here, good to have it. But then escape. I realized like pretty quick, it's like it's not the same without people that yeah. i like or you know there's some people i met down there but then eventually it was like i'm just playing video games and screaming at my fucking homework assignments and talking to your neighbor's possum and drinking yeah, yeah. drink i drank more i fucking deleted beers like they were no fu- <laughs> like it was my fucking job <laughs> that's part of why i stopped drinking it was not because i found jesus <laughs> yeah i drank more than i probably should have in the past two years yeah well, good on you. Yeah, good on you. Good on you. Looks like Mark's gonna start drinking with this mullet. <laughs> I drank four before we started this. What'd you learn? I learned that you could order mullet hats online. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that from? China. <laughs> it says. Is there something ironic hat? about the fact that mullet cap? This is what Probably everybody thinks about. Oh, I guarantee it was made in China or Taiwan. What are it's fucking two? Yeah, maybe India. I don't mm-hmm. know. Their their quality is a little higher, you know. Mm. Do you think, so? There's a at where I go on the airfield in in Arkansas. You have to push a button to get onto the airfield, and then the person go, has to either ask you, "Hey, where are you headed?" or whatever, so you can give me your credentials and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they don't fucking ask, and I just imagine that this is like this person when that person doesn't answer, you know, it's the same person every time. You're just they're just like this. They're like. It goes bah! in the background. And they're like, "Fuck!" Like you know, everybody's got <laughs> that thing about any it. job that they hate, and this is that person's. And it's like every ten minutes, like bah! Bah! And it's like imagine if it's like that that China man over in China making this American hat, and he's just like, <laughs> "God damn it!" And he's like, he fucking just he's putting the fucking mullet in the hat, and then he's just contemplating suicide oh, every single fucking <laughs> stitch. He's just lacing it with COVID. As- <laughs> yeah, you guys have seen the meme with the fucking like Malaysian chicks dipping the fucking massive dildo into the paint as they're moving it on. Like, yeah. like, for the- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, oh, yeah, what'd you learn? Those American consumption. Oh. oh man, I learned that I'm bitter about the fucking government like more than I thought I was. Yeah, you shouldn't but say that on a podcast. No. I don't fucking care. Yeah. Unlike you. I'll name drop shit. I just think <laughs> things are going to get worse and they things are going to get come worse. Back to I think bite us. <laughs> I think I learned that the majority of people out there mm-hmm. are fucking cowards. Mm-hmm. And it's That is something I learned too. It's yep. more uh it's more obvious than it ever has been. You, you look at somebody when you're just in your daily life and you're like how many times have you gone and be like that dude's a fucking pussy but then yeah. you actually yeah. see the fucking representation of it and it's like and now with everything close, like all the mandates dropping all over the country in these last fucking four states, Illinois, Washington, California, and Oregon, the last four places where this shit is mandated, they're just fucking digging in. They're like, well, we're going to, we're going to fucking give it till the 18th or the 13th. Yeah, and they're just fuck. dig, They're just hold Cause they don't want to be wrong about this shit. When you, meanwhile, you have everybody that's hold on to every bit of control that they can. And just the, the, I see it sometimes. And I've said this when I got to Oregon, and watching like people fiddle with their shit going through the parking lot, yeah, they're completely away. And what even if the science is six feet away or whatever the fuck yeah. it is, you're a bitch for like panicking because it's all a social construct that has been created to make people feel like yep. this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do stuff like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. You're supposed to yeah, listen to people foot, when they tell six, you and never question anything you. whatsoever. It's not going to save your life. Yeah, I was telling Megan. I said. If I see anybody wearing masks still after the mandate like, lifts, I'm like, these are you are part of the problem. You were you were the complicit one oh, that you, kept this there's fucking gonna thing be going. There's going to be thousands longer. of them. Yeah, and it's part of the culture, but you are the reason why the shit carried on. As this long whole as thing has emboldened the yeah. cowards, mm-hmm. unfortunately, and it's not like 
given them strength. Mm-hmm. It's it's given them a false sense of strength. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. I'm so much yeah, better you, than this person. When you person. don't have that already, yes. this is that fucking... So this is a yeah. physical virtue signal that everybody's Absolutely. putting on their face. Physical virtue signal. Well, I don't know if it's... I think I think there's a large percentage of people that wear masks that actually believe it's doing something for them. Like, not just politically. False but, sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why for not sure. wear... Just Why not be safe? I mean, yeah. why not wear fucking helmets when driving in cars and yeah. fucking high visibility yeah. vests? I don't know. It's... I didn't... <laughs> well, hey, if you're still wearing a mask out there, you can take it off now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this, play, okay. this episode has been flagged. <laughs> yeah. How much money did the mask industry make Ooh. over the past two years? Who's the number oh, one producer? Man. Might be the good question. Well, they all came from China. I can guarantee that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if this was a big thing to get everybody to buy masks because it was underperforming? So we funded the, the industry. We just funded the war effort. <laughs> yeah, <what> we did. <laughs> we funded China's takeover of Hong Kong. That's all that happened. Yeah. <laughs> they needed money. It was like a municipal bond. So they had at, to raise. at my place of employment, oh. we would get shipments in mm-hmm. of face masks that we're supposed to hand out, right? And we get boxes and thousands, thousands of masks. Yeah. Okay, and each one of them, when you open it up, has this little white slip, and it's all Chinese writing. Oh, really? oh, absolutely. It says "Made in China" right on the box. You open yeah. it up. It's got little fucking air things like, yeah. you know filled with covid you poke them to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking recycle them holy shit man yeah. every single one of those masks made in china every single one yeah. packaged i would just hope out. that people fucking learn from this whole thing like take personal agency over your own life learn how to use risk versus reward in your fucking brain like don't like I said this from the beginning. I was you expecting my hair. No, I didn't. Oh. Uh, I was expecting to see fucking deuce and a half trucks down the going down the fucking freeway with bodies in them like a week into COVID. Like and then when I didn't see that happening, I knew yeah. it was gonna be like not a big deal. This is like not a big deal, you know. But there's people dying of it. It's like, yes, <laughs> let's make sure people that are I fucking have not compromised seen a stay single, safe. I've right. uh, correction. I've seen one funeral procession possession possession. I've seen one possession. What is it called when people die? With the the, a you think procession? Okay, yeah. I've seen one of those in the in fucking years. Yeah, that that's where I started. You know, saying are you got a point? I don't you got a big. Point. Have you seen any? I mean, I, I know people have died over the past. <clears throat> I had years. both both my grandparents passed away on my mother's side over the past two years during the COVID stuff, but yeah. they, they did not die from COVID. One had cancer excuse me yeah. both had cancer but it was old age really um those are the only two that i've been to and i can tell you one thing there was not another procession happening during that time in the same yeah. place it's just curious because i haven't seen any and like lots of people die all the time yeah. Yeah, and i haven't sure. seen any of those you know, either. a lot of people get cremated these days so yeah. maybe there's but not still, something happening they, at a... they still do uh <clears throat> the where all the cars line up and go yeah to yeah, the, yeah yeah so, so down market. down the road yeah. from my house actually about three, four miles, there's an alternative funeral home type place where I don't know what that means really. Like they put bodies into compost and grow trees and weird shit like that. Yeah. But you can hold ceremonies there as well. So I have driven by there maybe twice I've seen it in the last three months, but that's two, you know, two times. Yeah. There's got to be more people dropping dead from COVID, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. And for people to say that the hospitals are all over overflowing and yeah, I, thought that, I know you listened to the news like a month ago, like Q13 as an example. Oh, they were talking me. about like the spike in the Omicron and the hospitals are being overwhelmed. You know it, where it I saw. So, so, so uh, there's a local mm-hmm. Providence, right? Providence Medical yeah. Center, right? They used to have out, outside the back of their building, they would have lines of cars coming in for testing and everybody's wearing the hazmat suits and they're doing the tests. They drive through, get their positive tests and whatnot, right? That went away f- four or five months ago mm-hmm. and people are now walking into the door to go get tested, mm-hmm. okay? Now, not one time did I see somebody drop dead in that car line as I'm going to get my food for miso right next mm-hmm. door. <laughs> like... My to-go food, you know? Not one time did I see some car crash because the person died from their COVID problems. Not one time did I see ambulances lining up out front to go take people to the hospital because they got COVID. Yeah, there's going to be information in the next 20, 30, 40 years that comes out about 
some company that fudged numbers to fucking oh we i mean we've already seen yeah that I mean, data come out it's it's just look at it, um take a look outside your front door next time you there's a pandemic you have to do it the exact same way <laughs> but just cut out that whole thing. no you can't just say it. reality doesn't get more real than standing outside your front door reality doesn't get any more real than what's outside your front do door. it again you have reality to have that fucking oh, wait, oh my God. wait till i'm st- stop i'll talking. give you gold but you gotta just let me give you gold. wait till i'm done talking scene <laughs> reality does not get any more real than what's outside your front door turn off the fucking news stop listening to the health experts and by the way just so you know anytime you hear the word health expert get used on local fucking news you know there ain't no fucking health expert who's an expert in fucking health like who the fuck the liver king doctors <laughs> like the liver king is what doctors normally the dinner king takes high offense to that the dinner <laughs> king is the health expert he understands that cheeseburgers working its way through your veins is like that thing that you poured in your toilet clearing out the drains and lining them with cholesterol because the dinner king is always right the dinner you need king. to understand this anyone that questions me will I'll yell at and i will talk in a deeper voice and i'll do the dinner king thing <laughs> And then I'll go on Instagram and everybody will love me and say, I, you definitely didn't buy all those subscribers. You definitely <laughs> didn't pay money to go from zero fucking followers to fucking one million in the matter of four weeks while I've been trying for fucking years to get any followers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Anytime somebody says health experts, because I hear that a lot on the local news. Right. Local health experts. Are so well, yeah, I want say names. Local, yeah. Give What's me the, a fucking name. And the credential. Cite your sources. Fucking Fox 13. Fucking oh, Como. Oh. Fucking King 5. Cite your fucking Fired sources. Up. Don't be fucking afraid. I'm get sued by them now. <laughs> Give out. Do the... Who do you work for? Who do you fucking people work for? <laughs> what the for? fuck? Who you, are you talking to right I'm talking now? to whoever fucking sees this from There's the... There's no one over there. Work for. I know. I'm, they're going to see it. One day. <laughs> it's fucking Austin Powers right now. You know what Who I'm saying? Who do you work for? You have a Mo. journalistic <laughs> obligation for the truth. He said too many syllables over there. There's a lot of them. Syllable. No, I'm just saying. That just gets me fired up. Like, I can yeah. tell. You know what I mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I got to see it every morning when I wake up. and I'm... David, what did you learn over the past two years? You never said that. <laughs> okay, so what I've learned is like I've witnessed like sheep. And what I've learned is this this might not this might be a bit of a surprise to you, but Are you I'm gonna actually, repeat what Mark just said. Probably. I'm not gonna Continue. repeat. I've learned compassion for sheep. Oh. Yeah. You thought I was gonna say something gangster. See, but on the other no. side, I've just stopped putting no, up. No, you're getting you're j ge- I have seen fear over nothing, completely paralyzed people, fucking minority groups shiver in fear. People, <laughs> when I walk down the street, minority groups shiver. And no, fear. and I get it. I've they're been cold a fuck, and I've also been scared. an immigrant in another country. Okay, I'm not going to give out too much information, but I've lived in it for a certain amount of years in another country where I don't speak the language and I don't fit in with the culture. And like, I get it, he was but like four. <laughs> I feel I have compassion for <laughs> people that young. are afraid. <laughs> I do. I, I I think the people that want to wear masks. I think. um not everybody thinks like us, right? Not everyone's a fucking Chad Thundercock who's fucking about it and ready Thad to fucking... Thundercock. Right. That's what this episode's called. And, I already decided But this week. is where the line Thaddeus, draws between Thad good Thad people Thundercock. and bad people is what do you do when you know that there's we- the weaker amongst you? What do you fucking do? Do you you protect or you fucking... You show compassion for like the weak people. But my problem is you're not going to fucking tell me what the fuck to do. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to fuck so, with masks. So you're saying you lost the compassion all of a sudden? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 <laughs> He's I, conflicted, really. I've seen, like, people, like, afraid, and I feel for these people. But at the same time, it's – um, I hope everybody learns a fucking valuable lesson. Like, do not – your government is doing the best job it can with the limited information it knows from the top down. Like, you know um, – Fucking think for yourself. I would, yeah. I would think that people would come out of this, and as the information comes out, like with all the changes, and they're like, "Oh, we were really off on this," but they're not. Well, th- what you're seeing is weakness. You're seeing the inability to sit there and say, "Hey, listen, we were wrong, and I'm sorry. Like, we'll do better next time." Kind oh, of. Oh, which thing. they'll never accept like, that because that or, takes character, take, right? Yeah, yeah we don't have character. Character like Carmen Best and Jenny Durkin, and they, nobody's going to sit back. Hey, we made we fucked up when we gave Chop Chaz over to fucking extremism. Like, you know. Like, 
that the, the those two individuals owe the city of Seattle and I would even argue the greater Puget Sound area a fucking apology. Like well, not a fucking how book many, deal. How many people got cunt. shot during that whole thing, you know what I mean? Right. You're going to let a fucking who is the motherfucker in the Tesla off oh, a bunch of fucking weapons. The guy systems. with dreads, he was like yeah, I don't know the guy's yeah, name, his but name. there's videos. Local rap shit. artist. Yeah. <laughs> Funding, arming this fucking group. Like, yeah, pulling pulling semiotic weapons out of the back of a goddamn if I'm trunk. She, if I'm seeing that out. shit on TikTok. Out of a Tesla? Yeah, dude, <laughs> out of the trunk. If I see that shit on TikTok, there's no reason why Carmen Best can't see that shit, too. You're goddamn right. At, in real fucking time nowadays. Let's well, fucking... They yeah. probably brought those weapons in. Right. Wow. I don't know. I'm just like... Just sack up. And do better, everybody, like from the bottom up. And whatever. everybody sack up, even the women. <laughs> yeah, like some yeah. of the women have sacks these days. Oh, dude, the, I'm, I'm the women that are like now going against with like the uh, school council meetings, you know, pushing back. Like, and I, I don't want to again, I don't want to say any names, but I just it's generic. It's happening across. The there's country. a certain little city down on the border of fucking Washington, so touching. Shugle. Okay, the moms, right? Good <laughs> on is, fucking them. This is what he did with the fucking the movie theater also. Yeah. We that no longer exists. Yeah. When Satan was up there. Satan was taking a shit up in and the you, you, abandoned room. You bundled into the room like, ah! Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, pushing back on critical race theory, pushing back on BLM being taught in schools, oh, that, all that it, shit. Didn't like, they push back for the mask stuff too? There was like a walkout too, right? In Washington, yeah. Start yeah. in Washougal. Yeah. Down there. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, it's good to see people like families and mothers and, you know, standing up and pushing back and shit. And I don't even know if that's how you say the fuck. I don't know what you name. learned yet, though. Yeah. What did I learned compassion for weak okay. people? Compassion, right? for, compassion weak people. for weak people. And it's okay. You can be a weak, cowardly person, but I have compassion for you. And I won't, like, you know. you'll just talk shit about him behind their back. I mean, so. you're still a pussy, but you need to fucking work on that. But, yeah. You found no compassion, dude. You I found- almost like maybe this is a controversial thought, but I almost wish it was worse so that there was some justification for how crazy people were acting. Oh, Absolutely. God. Like, especially after two years, like fucking when, right. we, when let, all jokes aside, it was a bad thing, right? Like it was it was a bad thing that was killing people, right? Like it wasn't after two years. Like yeah. it's not it's. Never it's was. not as sick. bad as as we first all thought where even we were not hanging out with each other yeah. and because nobody fucking knew there was like there's this fucking plague coming out of China and it's from a fucking pangolin and it's like <laughs> a somebody ate it out of a wet a market bat. like that's what yeah. originally was being and we're like holy fuck like I don't know how bad this is and everybody's fucking washing their hands and doing like masking no masking like all over the place like there were people that were taking that were getting like fucking grocery deliveries and leaving that shit in their garage for two fucking days so that it, the virus could die and all the crazy shit. I kind of feel like if it was like that, then there would be justification for people still acting that way to this yeah. fucking day. Yep. Like, and it's people still, they're just dug in their positions and just sticking to it. Like it's the fucking first week of because, that we knew COVID was here because it's the new normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we <laughs> decide normal. what the new normal is like, this is per the, we could, we could go back to like one of our initial podcasts after like when it all kind of like we first did one together and we were talking, you know, we were yeah. talking to the podcast studio that that episode of us going like, wait, this is fucking crazy is very identical to how today is. And what we do you remember our when, theory, our, our, our yeah. ideas of this shit didn't so this really is, change much over the past this two is years. February, it's like, 2022. Do yeah. you remember back? What is a fucking year ago? Probably where you and I were talking in that podcast studio and we said, you know what? I think that, Come 2022, midterms are going to come around, and yeah. all this shit's going to drop. Yep, because they're going to get reelected. They want to try to get reelected. Yeah. So the big question is, what happens after the election? Exactly. Is it going to pop right back up to mandate more? Is there going to be another fucking variant that comes out? I think people out? just need to see that. Like, okay, next. it depends on which way it goes, though. I know, but like, look, they, is everybody going to vote Democrat again? And people, then it's like, exactly. this your gets, leaders like, okay, want well, to stay back. in power. They want to stay in power. <laughs> That's why they lifted the fucking mandates. Like, you know what's happening in Washington State specifically? Yeah. Okay. So Democrats are trying to push every single fucking thing they can through right now. Same with same with California and Oregon, okay? Yeah. Highly Democratic, okay? They're trying to push all this 
Democratic agenda stuff, the leftist agenda through as fast as they can because they don't know what's going to happen for these midterms. Mm-hmm. They don't know if there's going to be a lot of pushback for election reform and for for um, 2A rights, all this stuff. So they're pushing as much as they can through mm-hmm. to try to circumvent that. They're like, okay, mm-hmm. we're going to push all the gun laws, gun laws we can in this next s- fucking 180 days yeah. just so that you can't fucking do shit about it. Mm-hmm. So that's what's happening in Washington. They're trying to push for a permanent mask mandate in Oregon, even though they're saying they're dropping the mask mandates currently, that's still on their agenda. I've seen it on their fucking agenda. Yeah. Yes, there's the, the mayor's like, okay, well, we're going to drop mask mandates for the state, but over here, we're going to put it on the fucking ballot that we're going to put it into place permanently. Yeah. It's not saying it out loud. I don't care what fucking community you're part of, who's going to buy off on fucking permanent mask mandates. Oh, God. If they Who do. the fuck oh, is going to be like, we're going right. to muzzle ourselves no. forever. Yeah. But they're putting because that in people's minds like it's going to be important. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, you yeah. start feeding the sheep this ter- certain type of food, they're going to start eating it, and then that's all they know. Yeah. yeah. And people... it's a, what's the term when the rats jump ship? That's what isn't that a thing? Mm-hmm. That's a fucking thing when the rats jump ship when it's going down. I I, I know it's what you're th- talking yeah. about. I don't know the fucking word. It's kind of what happens with their exodus out of those fucking states. Yeah. They've destroyed it, and now they're fucking. Well, this is per the John Hopkins University website. This is the Observe. Mo- I smoke Mo- weed with Johnny Hopkins. Yeah. <laughs> The fatality. Johnny you don't know what Johnny Hopkins. It was Johnny Hopkins and Sloan Kettering. We so were anybody want to know what the death, day. the fatality, I'm not call him dad. <laughs> the fatality rate of COVID is? The final numbers, according to John Hopkins University, of what? Go. One point two percent. Imagine if the shit was ten percent, a twenty percent, fifty percent. Like our society would be completely destroyed. It collapsed. Yeah. That's fucking six percent. Fucking 6%. insane. It doesn't matter our Constitution, Bill of Rights. All that shit goes away at a 50%, a 20% fucking fatality rate. Now like, do the, the Spanish flu from like 1912. What it was? Was it 1912? Was it 1918? 1918. Yeah. Spanish flu. How much flu. of the population died then? Spanish flu. 100. I'm yeah. going to um, give you something else to look up, and yeah. then you're going to read it to us, and then we'll... Uh, Conclude? We'll, we'll comment on it, and then we'll, we'll you know... I like it. There's a... I want to see David's reaction. When 100 I million cases shit. of the Spanish flu. Yeah, but how many died? Uh, well, the, it was estimated 500 million cases was what I'm looking at per Wikipedia here. Deaths between 25 and 50 million were the, this was globally. Um, Which is a lot for that population. I'm just trying to look at time. the mortality rate. That's all. Yeah. But I don't know. Like it's, my point is, is fucking COVID, it, none of it warranted the fucking amount of shit society had to put up with 1.2 yeah, yeah. percent fatality rate i assume that may be global by the way that's not u.s numbers that that's global, global but you know let's uh no. let's finish this episode on an uplifting note Uplift. david i want you to google or duck duck go um joseph j-o-s-e-f is that how you spell joseph okay. for this guy it is <laughs> fritzel f-r-i-t-z-l Mm-hmm. Is this the guy with the Astellin, rooms? Astellin, Austria. Astellin, however you spell it. <laughs> I'm doing uh, No, what? I'm actually asking you how to spell Astellin. A-S-T-E-L-L-E-N, okay. Austria. That might not be the name of the place. But... Austria. Okay. I've been to Austria. And then I want you to pick an article or whatever, cite where it's at, and be like, this is from whatever thing, and then read the shit to us. Like the, the Fritzel, Fritzel case. case in Wikipedia, or sure, whatever abuse. Any of them. There you go. Go to that one. <laughs> Austria's most hated man fantasizes. <laughs> I thought we were going to end this on a good note. It is, is a good note. A good note. <laughs> <clears throat> Joseph, or where is it from? What's the thing? Cite the place. The website is world hyphen today hyphen news dot com. <laughs> so it's it's legitimate. There's no okay. Reason. We're not making this up, right? Is okay. No. All right. Look at all the other fucking. Read the locations. title of the article. So the, the the title of the article is abuse. Josef Fritzl, mm. Austria's most hated man, fantasizes about a life on the loose. Okay, Josef Fritzl or Joseph Fritzl. It's gonna be Joseph. There's no. They don't. Is serving a life sentence for locking his own daughter in the basement and for 24 long years having used her as a sex slave. The news from an Austrian small town of Amstetten. Is that what it is? I don't know. Amstetten. 
was released on April Day of 2008 and stuck like a bomb. Joseph Fritzl's name became known all over the world and soon became synonymous with having a secret family in his own basement. His daughter, Elizabeth, was 18 years old when one day in April of 1984, he tricked her into the basement of his tenement that Fritzl owned in the center of Amsterdam. <laughs> There he had prepared in advance a small apartment with a toilet and a kitchen. The daughter was kept in chains for seven months while the daughter raped her night and day. The, the father. father. The father, excuse me. I'm sorry. All right. He also forced her to write a letter to her mother stating that she had run away to join a religious sect. Okay, makes sense. That would, that would as a father, that would, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Seems normal. The one year mother that constantly gets beaten by the husband she's just like yeah just don't hit me anymore yeah so. uh religious sect three times the following years a newborn baby was left on the stairs of the family each time with a note from elizabeth that rosemary fritzel had to take care of her granddaughter during a 24 years of captivity in the basement with a thick door elizabeth gave birth to a total of seven children one a twin was ill and needed medical attention but fritzel rather than let the newborn son die for fear of he himself might be exposed. Excuse me, I'm reading this a little weird. Um, when the 19-year-old basement daughter, now we're calling her a basement daughter now, Kristen became seriously ill, the tyrant gave in to pressure from Elizabeth and drove the girl to the hospital. So that's one of his daughter's daughters. Yes, that would be his, yeah. His granddaughter daughter. A few yes. days later, Elizabeth managed to persuade Fritzel to pay the hospital visit to pay a hospital visit to her seriously ill daughter. It was to be the first time in 24 years that she was out in daylight. And then there's more to this article. Imagine what that vampire looked like, man. There's something Just I read on this skin, where their skin was all the kids and everybody was pretty much skin Jeez. was translucent. Ooh, this guy's a fucking demon. They haven't seen sun and probably from living under the darkness or whatever. Yeah. yeah. He had a soundproof room. He had all kinds of weird shit going on down there. Yeah. So if you see the pictures, stairwell into the basement, mm -hmm. and then like I, maybe the wife didn't go down there, but it's like you can clearly see that there's more to the basement than yeah. this, and it's like he built this whole fucking thing. It was like a three foot, um, three foot door that was like this metal door or whatever that he got her to go into, and then put. Um, that article doesn't say a lot about it, but there's a part about how like one of the kids got sick and died, and he threw it in the fucking furnace and shit, yeah. just cold hard. But I, I think that's a. I was waiting for you to talk about well, that. You, well, you showed me before it had like a, like a diagram, a hierarchy of like, him, his wife, and then like his daughter, and then all the kids. You know, like a family tree going on. So yeah. Oh my god, it was that's a crazy. If story. you ever doubt the existence of evil, there's case there you go. study number one. Uh, there Fritzl. is a Netflix movie called The Girl in the Basement, which is a very close uh, adaptation of the story. So if anyone cares to go read that, it's but, fucking crazy. Or, Watch it. Yeah. Old Fritzl. So we're ending this on a high note. That's right. <laughs> I wanted to see your reaction. That's why. Because it's pretty fucked up. It's yeah. really fucked up. Well, I mean, yeah. How many bodies you got? <laughs> Next week, we <laughs> talk about Albert Fish. <laughs> Who's that? Look him up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look him up. Albert Fish. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for doing another episode of our professional podcast. I had a great time. We have a little. Indeed. Uh, I got to splice this shit together now. but Right. It is what it is. I'm never prepared for these, even though I'm, we've it's done okay. them. That's you know? when they turn out the best. Yeah. I always go away from these. I'm like, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm not talking to anybody. <laughs> fucking stupid. Bye bye. No. Oh. Is that what go sub go buy some Strike Force. Go go support the sponsors. They support this podcast. Buy we some got, fucking merch. Uh, go to Sasquatch. Mark's got now. his new Sasquatch shirt. I've got on a Sasquatch shirt. David, you don't have a Sasquatch shirt. He doesn't support shirt. I don't support anything. But um, yeah, we're gonna be doing that fucking new mystery thing we've been talking about. Yeah. Eventually, I was hoping That'll that the new mics would be in today, but they're they're not. So we gotta just hang on to these like fucking idiots. It's all right. It's all right. It's going to sound great, though. Any parting shots, thoughts, or anything, David? No. <laughs> Classic David. <laughs> cool. This mullet is in no way itchy on my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been wearing that the whole fucking time. Oh, I love it. I fucking love it. Oh, I should wear it when I drive down to Oregon tomorrow. 
<laughs> you should do your Zoom meetings. Probably, in that. Oh God, I'd probably get in trouble. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna Just avoid doing it. I got a new it. position is that, at work, guys. Is that mullet detachable? It is. Is it, it is. got, it's Velcro? got Velcro on it? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, I got a new position at work. I'm not. I still don't want to say where I work, but uh, I got a new position where I'm gonna be traveling. So that's kind of exciting. So I can sleep at night. Regular now. schedule. Yeah, right. Kind of a day day shift type thing. So I'm excited Sick. to see how it turns out. So cool. That's all I got. <laughs> nice. With that, thanks for checking out the episode. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.